Hey, it's Gregory. I want to tell you about Keeps. This is a simple and stress-free way to keep your hair. And I can talk about it firsthand because I have two friends that currently use Keeps, and the results are astonishing. I hadn't seen this one friend in a long time, and I almost didn't even recognize him. His hair was so much fuller. And I also know somebody else who should be using Keeps, by the way. Super convenient. You have a virtual doctor consultation, and then you have medication delivered straight to your door every three months. Starts at just 10 bucks a month, and they offer generic versions, plus discreet packaging. You can keep it all private. Nobody needs to get up in your business. The only thing people will notice is the results. What could be better? You could look better. That'll make you feel better, and it's easy and convenient. And they have great deals. Go to Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Woody to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's Keeps dot com slash Woody to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Woody. Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. The Woody Show. Operation confirmed. This is The Woody Show. Insensitivity training for a politically correct world. Class is now in session. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Woody. It is Thursday morning. It is a pre-Friday. Yes. June 3rd, 2021. Hello. Welcome to The Woody Show. Mm-hmm. My name is Woody. That is Ravy. Yeah. We've got Greg Gore. Good morning, Woody. Menace is here. What is up, Woody? He's our social media director. Hi. You can find us. You can follow us at The Woody Show on Instagram and Do Twitter it. or on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Woody Show. C Bass is here. Good morning. Fake news. Cameron. Good morning. We've got Nick Soundwave and Bort in the production studio and the man of the hour. Well, the man of the day. Yeah. Randy is here. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Today is uh, what will Randy do for money? Yes. He's going to try to earn 50 bucks drinking <laughs> the suicide milkshake oh, that we're going to put together for him. So uh, that is coming up for you later on this morning Lucky. here on the Woody show. The phones are open, 877-44-WOODY. You can hit us up on a text over to 22987. Uh, so, Ravy kind of briefly mentioned this in, like, passing. I was kind of thinking that maybe she said it in a way where she was kind of hoping I'd forget. Mm-hmm. But uh-huh. uh, she oh. said that she has a regret. I do. Really? It's about something that she's brought up. Uh, it, yes. Uh, guys, th- and this is bad news, and I'm sorry to bring it, but I've got to be honest. Red copper was a terrible purchase. <laughs> no. Red copper? <laughs> what? I'm okay. always going down the path to think this could be something like truly like you revealing. Said, dude, you set yeah. it up like, like something where she's truly yeah. vulnerable. <laughs> like Animal Crossing. I thought you were going to open it. Oh, I thought like to some like insight into like, you know, oh, Ravi, yeah. the person. Or yeah. like, you know what? I overshared something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it caused the drama in my life. red copper pan is no longer nonstick. <laughs> It, oh, yeah, but everybody bought that, knows the stick. It, you bought that what six years ago? I, I bought it maybe like three and a half, four years ago, and it has yeah. lost its nonstick coating. But I saw okay. the commercials; wow. the eggs slide right off, Ravy. I, yeah, but I thought it was going to be for life. That doesn't last it, for life. All those nonstick things eventually become stick. Yeah. 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 Well, they I'm very out. disappointed in red copper. Yeah. So it, Ravy, one of her drunk purchases, <laughs> uh-huh. drunk and or high. I both. You got Probably a bunch both. of them, right? She's. I got a red copper. <laughs> Deep pots and like a red copper pan that was my everyday pan. But now eggs are sticking. Everything is sticking. Well, are you going to replace it or no? I'm going to replace it, but not with red copper. (gasps) What's the alternative? I don't know. Something that will last... Five or six years? Yeah, get Nothing. like all clad. Get all clad. <laughs> all what clad. It, uh, Love it. You guys, what are you talking about? Unless it's not an infomercial, she ain't funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is all clad on television in the middle of the night? No. no. Is it drunk? Did no. anyone so. ever see the Gotham CRISPR? I got into that for a second of maybe purchasing it. Something is it similar. A, is it Batman branded? It's like a, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a baking type sheet, yeah, but I've it's supposed that. to be like nonstick as well. The it, Gotham CRISPR, but I never pulled the trigger on it. 
Well, I guess we should ask his wife how it is, since right. we know Menace doesn't crisp up anything. They look cool on TV. <laughs> so, maybe I have a question with these red copper pans. If yeah. you throw a handful of cheese in there and let it, you know, bubble up, will it just stick? It will just stick. Stop, but that's not Whoa. what the commercial said. Come on, jerks. <laughs> God. Do you just chuck it or what? It's I'm, weird how these things go like in trends. Remember how the uh, air fryers were like all yes, the rage for like yes. three yeah. months? Instant pot. Mm-hmm. And instant then the pot. instant pot. Yeah. The, yep. the, yeah. The soup maker thing. Sure, sure. The instant a- soup. Soup and yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, red copper. Well, regrettable very now. Very brave yeah. of you. Because to now that. it sticks. You know, it's making a comeback in this line. Menace, you may have seen this, but Shaq now has his own George Foreman grill. Oh, heck yeah. I it's saw like that. five times really? as big as yeah. <laughs> the Shaq is. <laughs> well, I, I haven't wanted the Shaq that. to be smaller. Yeah, I saw that at Sam's Club. You know what? I actually have one of these things, but I don't trust it. Um, those uh, mats that you could put on your grill. Oh, those yeah. Are really, yeah. Actually, uh, those are awesome. Speaking about my wife cooking, she uses those. Yeah, and I then don't work. trust it. I mean, what I know, I'm sure it works. It just, yeah. I feel like there's got, like, applying that kind of heat to something that feels like it should melt it pretty easily. It makes no sense. Is yeah. it silicone? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. it's, yeah. So, like, that and, like, those, um, those, like, baking, like, I yeah, can't even call them tins. They're not yeah. tins, right, but, right. like, baking oh, molds. I right. use those for, uh, like, egg little, I, I have those muffin style, and I use them for, like, right. little egg stuff. It just doesn't seem like it should quiches. work without melting and getting into your food. It I know. absolutely works. And you get the grill marks, and you don't have to clean the grill. They rule. You really? Would it's love so the weird. Yeah. Not, love how them. long are they good for? Forever. You can clean them. <laughs> are, they, are they, like, forever, like, red copper Is pot? Is it red forever? copper forever? <laughs> yeah, or forever, forever? Forever. I've had mine for years and years. They work. <laughs> so it's the idea that you put, like, whatever, asparagus and, you yeah. know. Yeah, and then yeah. stuff doesn't fall but through. It, but how does it not roll off the side? I don't get it. I mean, I guess it could roll well, off the side. Unless there's an earthquake. No, I think, I think there's, happen. like, some indentations on it. Oh. Now I feel like Ravi yeah. owes us an a actual confession. Or I know. <laughs> regret. What? I know. That was Something, a big like, confession. Oh, was it? How much did I go off uh, about the red copper and how excited I was and how much it rules? So how- this is not even like, yeah, you're right. This is nothing yeah. like, <laughs> it's like, oh, I slept with some rando or, the other right. night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back on the lesbian train. Like, yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. You guys, Look, I have I'm, a girlfriend. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Her name's Rhonda. <laughs> right. I you, did below the belt. You thought it was going to be something like that? Yeah, Maybe. Something. Good. Something. Yeah, thank you. Good. How yeah. long have you worked with me? Too long. There are so many <laughs> dumb products, though, like uh, that people that we know have bought, like uh, Tony the Whipping Boy, that quesadilla maker. Yeah. Really? Oh, those are like, great. It's kind, of, yeah, it's kind of like a uh, like a George Foreman grill, except it's just round and yeah. flat, and it has like a crisscross <laughs> pattern that like just burns like where you're supposed to cut the cut quesadilla. Yeah, because if you <laughs> don't when know, it's done. Like AKA. once you've melted some cheese, aka, uh, yeah. he bought a device to melt cheese yes. between two tortillas. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's like buying it, a hot dog yeah. maker. Exactly. You, it's well, called a pot. They still have. But you can't, like, you couldn't put your chicken on this case of DMA you, you first and then put your, no, it's just, yeah, yep. just, just <laughs> yeah, the other thing he bought was, and he loves it, so something called the flip and fold. Yeah. Remember that thing? And fold? Oh, for shirts, right? Yeah, yes. so it's a, basically a, like a plastic <laughs> oh, yeah. hinged yeah. Uh, outline of a shirt, like a uh-huh. t-shirt, and then you lay your shirt over top of the outline. It's for morons, right? Yeah, they use them as <laughs> for toddlers. And then, and then, yeah, then you take yeah. like the right side, flip it over, the left mm-hmm. side sleeve, flip it over, and then the bottom, flip it up. So and it then, takes four times the oh, amount of look. time. Yeah, yeah but it does it perfectly. Shirt. Yeah, That's how you teach your child <laughs> to fold a <Yeah>. shirt. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but so he dumb. bought it and he loved it. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. good for Tony. <laughs> they use that at retail stores. To make I think the one thing that I bought off of an infomercial that I was legit excited about, and it, it served me well for a long time, was the food saver. Uh, the vacuum sealer. I, I, yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. I, this is like, dude, this is like the late 90s. Yeah. I bought this thing off of an infomercial. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I, it, it worked great for a while, but then you. I realized, like, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah. I Why told you we used the, the, <laughs> we used yeah, the tri- a store, right? It's not like I live like 50 miles from the closest <laughs> yeah. store, so I have to buy like all this chicken in bulk and separate it. <laughs> well, you're always dressing deers, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> for, for yeah. sure. But I, told I thought you, it was cool to be able to do it. We used the travel version for that, like you know, oh for packing, for packing, and it's those great. are just vacuum bags. It is, yeah. But I'm telling you, it's changed our lives. You can pick, you can put so much stuff when you're packing, yeah, especially when things. like you and I, like our clothes are huge. I know. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, it's it's like, you freak them it. down. <laughs> it rules. Like my kids can pack everything they own into like one little mini suitcase because everything's so small. That's once right. you hold it up, <laughs> yeah. One like jacket, four shirts for medicine. Yeah. I total. Yeah. You, you need like one of those. Put them in a vacuum bag. Yeah, yeah. they're charging you extra at the airport because it's over fifty pounds. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> so the one thing that I've wanted to buy and I've heard great things and terrible things are those hoses 
that crumple into a little ball. Oh yeah, oh, those are one of those. I've heard that they're either amazing or terrible. Don't ever leave them in the sun because they they'll dry out and they'll crack. Oh, oh. really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's like a fabric on the outside, yeah. right? And that fabric is like hella cheap and crappy and becomes very brittle after it's left in the sun for a while. Because two things that suck at coiling up is a hose or an extension cord. They're the worst. Yeah, you have to do the over under trick, and I can't. I have never mastered that. Yeah, dude, this uh, contractor that did some work in my house, he showed me this technique to uh, basically tie up an extension cord, and it's yeah. awesome. It's oh, almost it's got like, like three or four loops, and it goes yeah, back on itself. Yeah, kind of looks like a like a braid almost. Yeah, if you oh. ever see like a truck, they'll be they'll be hanging like that on the side of them, and you'll say, "Oh, that guy's he's a real man." He's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a he, he knows, knows what he's doing. doing. It's the Woody Show. You know, my wife is uh, so into the working out stuff that she's having sex with her trainer. Really? <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, no, I didn't mean yeah. to say that. Sorry, that was just that was out loud, dude. That was just that was yeah. a slip. No, like everything that she has, like mm -hmm. she gets the extra, like the, I think it's Kodiak, Kodiak. Like the, oh, I call sure, it, yeah. the power cakes. Yeah, yeah. power cakes. Yeah. Power, power cake. waffles. Yeah. I love yeah, them power cakes. She even found this uh, this stuff. It's like got uh, pro extra protein in the milk. It's like 11 grams of protein oh, yeah. in, a, oh, in a cup right. of milk. Yeah, it's wow. called like Carb Master. Kroger has it. But Carb yeah. Master yeah. milk. You're going to start wrestling? <laughs> yeah, but no. So check this out. Top Chops. That's another great source yes. of protein. Mm. And it's a good quality, clean protein mm -hmm. that energizes. And it's also very delicious. Top Chops is a premium beef jerky, handcrafted, slowly marinated overnight. And it's so tender. So Red. good. It's so good. So find your flavor. Original teriyaki, sweet and spicy, red chili pepper. And your next bag of happiness awaits at TopChops.com. That's T-O-P-C-H-O-P-S dot com. And discover how jerky should taste. And now back to the Woody Show. And into another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world. On this pre-Friday morning, it's a Thursday. It's June the 3rd, 2021. My name is Woody. That is Ravy. Hello. Greg Gorey is here. Hi, Woody. That's Menace. He's our social media director. What is up, Woody? You can find us and follow us at The Woody Show on Instagram and Twitter or on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Woody Show. There's uh, Seabass yeah. right there who was... Uh, Thinking that he might miss today's show with oh, Randy, and oh. what will he do for the oh, money? Was, what happened? No. He, he texted us yesterday and said that he was puking. So oh, much no. drama. I, yes, I. Uh, well, first it started with the fun bout of diarrhea. That oh, was great. No. That is fun. Then I, uh, <laughs> ca I came back to the office to do some work, get ready for today, and uh, oh, uh, oh. Made it, I made it barely outside the front doors, barfed in the bushes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Went home, barfed in my shower for like an hour. Oh wow! In the shower, in the shower. because it just that's kept... a good place to barf. Exactly. Yeah, because uh. it just yeah, I just sat there, and it's like it's kind of a mini hot tub, but poor man's hot oh, tub. Oh yeah. Just Water flowing over me, then every 15 minutes, bleh, <laughs> until I ran out of barf, and it's just this yellowy, oh, yeah, sure. your bile. Yeah. Yeah. Are you so hungover? Uh, no, no, it was, I think, for because it was the only symptom was the stomach. It felt like it was like every, if you ever need bread, like you're just turning it over and over. Yeah. And what do so, you think you ate? Uh, that's a God good question. No. Ever walk by the office when he's in there by himself? He does eat a lot he of weird stuff. Lot. Weird yeah. stuff. Like he'll he'll grab like old stuff from the the hot bar at the store. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. And like, but it, it's never like reheated. So God knows whatever it grew from the time uh, yeah. it was warm till I mean, it cooled breaks. off, and it's then so unappetizing. Yeah, like it's it's weird. Like he'll <laughs> he'll open <laughs> up a can of like baked beans and yeah. Just, yeah. 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 out of the can. Oh, yeah. like, it's always weird stuff. I told you the other day though, I was by your house and it smelled like eggs. Could be. Eggs. Eggs? There's something in the air. I don't know because then the next hour was I couldn't get up, so I just drank Gatorade and then put <laughs> put towels by my bed, and then we just <laughs> lean over my bed. Bleh, oh, oh, my there's my something God. in your neighborhood, man. I'm telling and you. And I was thinking of Greg because I was like, this must be what Greg feels like. The entire time I thought, what if this never ends? What if this, <laughs> <not>? <laughs> what if I what die? This here? is the rest of my life. Totally. Yeah. Oh, so you God. Don't, yeah. What what did you eat? Uh, I don't know because I had dinner the night before with a slam piece, and she didn't report any problems. So must I must have been something else. I have no mm. idea. I know, like what, what kind of food was it? Like uh... oh, we went to like a steakhouse, shri uh, shrimp scampi up in this up in this uh. joint. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, maybe some bad shrimp. Been that. Maybe some maybe scampi. But oh God, smash yeah. cauliflower. Wait, why uh, mm, towels yeah. and not a bucket? Uh, well, or... it's just. 
the amount of walk well, at that point walking was out of the question. Oh, well, just wow. because the uh, the chick didn't get anything doesn't mean because Greg took me to a Chinese food restaurant one time and oh. was trying to kill me. That's what he was trying to murder you. Yeah, yeah. like I got yeah. the worst case mean. of food poisoning I've ever had. He had hyped me up on this Chinese food place, it and I'm good, like, oh, that's it? And so we went there for lunch, and we had a nice, enjoyable lunch. Yeah. And I spent the next like 36 hours feeling miserable. Yeah, but you puking, went to the bathroom diarrhea. and he dropped some stuff on. Top yeah, of probably. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Handling yeah. Yeah. Spare hands. I'm like, this yeah. is just great. Greg trying to knock me off. Yeah. 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 Right? You missed more than one day of work. Yeah. Uh, I missed the fo- the next day, Didn't the following day. I thought day. you missed two days. Yeah, I mean, it was straight barf, like wouldn't stop. And then if, if it wasn't barfing, it was poo-poo. And- oh, <laughs> food poisoning is the worst. Oh, God. Yeah. The only time I thought worst. I was going to die is when I had food poisoning. That's what I thought. I was like, yeah. is there a it's assisted so suicide weird. for, for right? food poisoning? <laughs> <laughs> <That sucks. laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, so this is the hour. What will Randy do for money? Yes. Yeah, the right. Suicide shake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus, there's a brand new Redneck News, and Greg's got the trending news headline. News, 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 like a modern-day little Bonnie and Clyde, they ran away from United Methodist Children's Home, broke into this house by shattering a window, and inside this particular house happened to be multiple guns, including an AK-47 and a shotgun. So when deputies arrived, the 14-year-old girl came out, threatened to kill them. Then 15 minutes later, the 12-year-old boy came out with that AK-47, started shooting. Deputies actually did not return fire. Once the boy emptied the magazine, the girl came back out, aimed the shotgun at them, and refused orders to drop it. So eventually, deputies did fire at her. She was taken to the hospital. She's in stable condition. And then the sheriff, Mike Chitwood, he blasted lawmakers after all of it. And he said, quote, the brainiacs in Tallahassee, they want to do this restorative justice stuff. These kids are killers. This juvenile citation-ish that you hear from the faith groups, yeah. they need to worry about what's going on in the pulpit of their church, not worry about what's going on in the effing streets when you Ooh, have 14-year-olds oh, and 12-year-olds arming themselves. Wow. Yeah. I, I get he, it. This was insane. I thought he would have gone the other way, like for gun control or something. No, yeah. he was just livid. Look, nuts. I don't care who it is. If it's an adult, woman... Kid, if you're pointing a gun, shooting at the cops, they should shoot you. Yeah, it's yeah. game over. Oh, yeah, that's it, it was insane. That's the, it. The boy, the 12 year old boy, he needed an insulin shot. That's why he was taken to the hospital. And then the girl, apparently, she quoted Grand Theft Auto. So I oh. guess she was inspired oh, by oh, Grand right. Theft Auto. There we go. She knew that that could get her out though. Because yeah, probably that would yeah. narrative. Probably. You know what she didn't quote? Maybe she had been in trouble with she the law. She didn't quote Animal past. Crossing. Exactly. I'll tell you that. That's Thank right. You. So that was just nuts. Also, uh, prosecutors in the Derek Chauvin case said yesterday that they are looking to get a 30-year sentence for his conviction in the murder of George Floyd. He is going to be sentenced in a few weeks on June 25th. Now, his defense lawyer is asking for something much less than that, under 15 years, or he's hoping for just probation because <laughs> be nice. uh, yep, sure. he argues that <laughs> no he problem. should have been given a new trial because there should have been a new venue in the case and that there was jury misconduct because they were not sequestered during the entire trial. So he wants just probation. And the maximum sure. would be 40 years, but uh, they're thinking he's probably going to get 15 years because he didn't have a criminal record at all. 15 years. Huh. And then is it one of those deals where if you're in jail and you're like a good boy in yeah, jail? You'll be out in five. Yeah, like one of those things. could probably, Maybe. yeah, it would yeah. be reduced for sure. Uh, which people is, gonna, people are going to be pissed. Why, would, why do they even still have that with a good behavior? I don't know. The, you're there Isn't for that, bad yeah, behavior. You're supposed to. Yeah, the reason it's a sentence is because you did something. This was the punishment for it. Yeah, well, and then when you get out, I'll tell you what, if you're on good behavior at that point, then you don't go back. Then yeah. you don't go right. back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To me, the good behavior thing is, I don't know if redundant is the word, but shouldn't you be on good behavior regardless? Yeah. I don't I don't like how like, you can get a sentence. Like, if you're, if you're sentenced to 40 years, yeah. but you're eligible for parole oh, in 15. Re- what? Uh, right. You got a 40-year sentence. I know. What like, is, why do you got to make it more difficult than it needs to be? If the sentence is 40 years, yeah. that means that you all will see in 40 years. Yeah. Nobody ever cares about the victims. That's no. what makes me so angry. Nope.
I thought about Ravi when I heard about Amazon. They say their public yeah. policy team actively supporting the Marijuana Opportunity oh, Reinvestment yeah. and Expungement Act of 2021. Yes. Meaning that they support federally legalizing marijuana, and they hope that other employers were, will join them. Uh, not only do they support the idea of legalizing weed, they are no longer going to include marijuana drug tests for positions in Amazon awesome. that are not regulated by the Department of Transportation. So, Well, that's good. Yeah, if you're applying uh, for a job. Drug testing for weed, how dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the dumb they you can will, still work the well. warehouse. Yeah, they, they yeah. will test for other drugs, of course. Shouldn't be operating that forklift, though. Right. Stay I mean, off the forklift. Yeah. <laughs> Stay off the forklift. <laughs> yeah. if, if it's mandated by the Department of Transportation, yeah, they'll still test for it. But. Okay. Moving forward, they say, yeah, weed won't be tested for. Now, Ravi, don't you worry about Lays being it. a bad influence on on like your niece and nephew. I mean, because these are two kids that look up to you. I mean, you're <laughs> okay, have... but they don't hear me say "blaze it." Oh, you, know, yeah. you say oh, it daily. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm I like, do say it daily, but not yep. to them. I'm saying like, if you look at like, mm-hmm. okay, so like her niece, yeah. she's got that white claw flag. She does that we yeah. heard about. <laughs> I clearly, thought that was trouble. Clearly, she's yeah. a big fan. Uh huh. And you bought it for her. I did not. No, Ruby didn't buy it for her, but I mean, she probably used the money you gave I her. I thought it yeah. was a red flag, that white claw flag. Yeah. I thought that was the, a red flag, and I was yeah. not happy about it. And no, I'm not telling her to blaze it. But she put, doesn't hear me say blaze it. By proxy. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Every know that. picture of Ruby oh. on social media, she's got a joint in her hand. Right, right. <laughs> it's it's mad well dugs. I'm so high. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, you think she doesn't have the internet? She can't hear your voice? She can hear my voice, well, but how she's old are not they? listening to it. Your nephew is how old? 18, and 18. she's 16. Oh, oh she's 16. Yeah. It's over. Okay. Like, so, <laughs> I mean, obviously, uh, we know about the booze. Like, <laughs> right. Do you think there's any, like, uh, other kind of I think extracurriculars she going on there? Is it, uh, in a bit of a dark place right now. And oh. oh. See? Classic. Bad influence. Did you teach but her how to? It's like, me. It's how do you her know? friend group. Oh, they probably friends. also yeah. listen to you. <laughs> right, everybody's yeah. listening to me, and because <laughs> Auntie Ravy says blaze it, let's blaze. Like Pretty I'm much. the one blazing, well, encouraging yeah. her to steal money to buy it, and wow, she, wow, that's happening. I think so. Oh my oh, God, Ravy! Holy crap! Now, what does she do with all the money that you send her? Because <laughs> that's the only person that Ravy shares money with, niece right. and nephew, and that's it. Yep. Yeah. If we needed like. Three dollars for Stop a kidney it. transplant. Oh, Stop she, she it. Let's say it was, let's say it was, let, let's say it yeah. was three dollars between a kidney transplant that would save our life. Yeah. And, and then, what? But it, like we can only get it <laughs> from Ravi, we yeah. would die. These are lies. Like, like, but, oh, I don't have any oh, cash. Sorry, but guys, it's like her niece and nephew yeah. apparently need money for a new bong or whatever. Right. Like no need problem. Money for nugs. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I got you. But the transplant? Yeah. No, sorry, I'm dry. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> all right. Somebody ask you a question. So, how do you feel about that? I feel uh, I'm not. It's not. I don't approve it for anybody who's underage. Okay. If you're of age, I got no problems with it. Okay. If you're 16. Hell no. So All now right. that your nephew is 18 yeah. and he's getting stoned constantly. <laughs> All day, every That's day. okay? He couldn't be more polar opposite of her as far you as like the way he's living oh, his life. Yeah. Yeah. I, you don't know that. Yeah, exactly. I do know that. Why do you think he just applied to Amazon? Because you know they won't <laughs> test him. Oh, really? Get. Someone says, if you only knew how many warehouse employees lost fingers, hands, and arms in the sorting equipment. Oof. Well, Ooh. there's a lot really? of industrial accidents out there. Oh, yeah. my God. Mm-hmm. Well, just don't smoke at work. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know how they say it's bad luck for a groom to see the bride right before the wedding? Sure. It's even worse when the bride, <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at this, dies of a heart attack right, oh, at, the, that's hilarious. right, wow, at, right at the start yeah. of the wedding. <laughs> so that's what happened in India. The bride collapsed and died right during the vows. <laughs> I'm going to close out. So yeah. her body was moved to another room, and then the groom, Mangesh Kumar, he stayed at the altar, and then the bride's sister came to the altar, and he married her. Oh, dude, play yeah. on player. Yeah, nice. Both families were already there, and they quickly discussed what they should do, and that's <laughs> what they all agreed, that the groom should just marry the sister. Oh, enjoy the sister. So they say it was a tough decision, but... <laughs> They shared the grief of the death. This is so sad. And then they shared 
the joy of the wedding. So they still right. had the wedding. Did they move the body out of the way? They, they put the body in another room, <laughs> and then they said, "Well, we're all here. Yeah. What should we do? Oh, marry the sister. Uh, oh, yeah. my we'll God. bury oh, her. Later. They probably consummated their marriage on top of the body. <laughs> Most <laughs> likely. Yeah, yeah, he was. It was his first threesome. Yeah, yeah. he was oh quoted God. in the media saying, uh, "Throw in the gutter and get another." <laughs> isn't that weird and creepy? Well, I mean, does it really matter? Because like, isn't like uh, that's it, so isn't arranged? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't arranged marriage is still a thing? It's very. Right? So, so I mean, do these people even know India, each other. Right? So yeah. right it during the like, vows, yeah, eh, like heart attack. That's I know, in that situation though, it's more inconvenient than anything else. I guess because, like, you didn't really know this other person anyway, so it might as well be either her or the sister. I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah, can we get her out of the <laughs> way? Like, really hey, just you annoying. know what? We're all here. Yeah, yeah. we're all here. The food, the food's the here. Food. Yeah, oh, you know oh, the man. catering. Yeah. Just throw the body to the side. The right, catering. all this non's gonna go to waste. The band. Yeah. We don't want to waste this wedding DJ right here. The boutonnieres. Yeah. You know, the photographer. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know. <laughs> All right, so uh, we, got, uh, the red, up. we got the redneck news that's coming up for you next. Hang on. I get the bloody bullet points. Or what do you show next? So the mask thing is just about over anyway, but if you still plan to rock one going forward, uh, I guess this is better late than never if you have an iPhone with face recognition, but somebody figured out how to unlock your phone without taking your mask off. They had said it in the new update, you're going to be able to do that. But yeah. it turns out, because I tried to set it up, right. you also have to have the Apple Watch in order for it to work. Oh, oh really? That's kind of, that sucks. Yeah, so it wasn't just the phone. You had It was a combination of yeah. you wearing the watch, and as long as you had the watch on, it used that as like a second verification uh, that it was actually you. I don't know. Okay. It was dumb, but somebody figured out how to unlock it without taking the mask off. And you go into your uh, settings for Face ID and passcode and find the option that says set up an alternate appearance. Okay. Okay. Now, the alternate appearance feature, that's what you would use if you wanted someone else to be able to unlock your phone with their face. You know, like your personal assistant or the yeah. help. Yeah. You know you know what I'm saying, guys? I yeah. do. Yeah. No, totally. I yes. do. But it'll start scanning your face, so you need to start without the mask on. Okay. Because otherwise, it'll you know realize your face is obstructed and give you the error message mm -hmm. to start over. <laughs> but you're supposed to put your mask on while it's scanning, and they said that should be able to beat the feature. Oh, okay. That and, then, yeah. and then you got to repeat the process a second right. time, and then it should recognize you even with your mask on. Okay. There's yeah. been some videos online of girlfriends taking their boyfriend's phone as they're passed out and like holding up the phone next yeah. to their face and unlocking their phone. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I, I mean, I, I, does your uh, Android. Oh, it does all that stuff, yeah. With the with the mask on? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. <laughs> well, sure. Maybe the, maybe security for them is just not an issue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, they, just, they cared very little about yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Google. Oh, no, people no, being no able security. to get in your phone. Oh, it's somebody's right. face? Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. It's, you need? it's phone, a face. The company oh, is three, a face? There's three yeah. steps ahead of Apple at every turn. Yeah, <laughs> they probably don't know how to do that. Yeah, and then Apple comes along. They're far superior. And then Apple comes along and perfects it. Right, right, yeah. yeah. It makes every, it every more iPhone, user friendly. Every iPhone is perfect until it stops working in six months because you had a new update. Thank you. All right. <laughs> your Android just explodes in your hand. I got it. Yeah. Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> and it, takes, it takes half an hour to take Old a picture. News. Welcome back, kids. The Woody Show. All right, so we're very much looking forward to what will Randy do for money? Yes. The Suicide Shake, which mm. is uh, coming mm. up here. Lock it. In just a few moments. Very exciting. It is very exciting. Everybody uh, brought their... I, see, I brought two different ingredients in because I'm, I wasn't sure. I figured it'd be a game time decision. Okay. Because okay. okay. yeah. someone may have something yeah. similar Based to on yeah. 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 But I will tell you that I got uh, both items from 7-Eleven. Okay. All right. <laughs> lucky, <laughs> Randy. Cool. Oh, I don't know about they lucky. They have some good stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all yeah. the stuff's got to go in a blender with God knows what else you guys brought in. Blit. Yeah, all for fifty dollars. All yeah. for fifty bucks. Strong. Fifty dollars. And how much was it going to be again? What do we say? Uh, eight ounces. Eight, eight ounces. This, this, eight like ounces. a champagne. It's got a lovely. Yeah, it's uh -huh. beautiful. Glass. A nice lovely chalice. food over there. Yeah. A little piece of crystal, chalice, which yeah. will make it the just presentation. So is going to be great. Very mm. fancy. We have a uh, Vitamix blender. Yeah, that's a nice blender. High too. end. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we have all of our ingredients. <laughs> Only the best for Randy. <laughs> I know, yeah. everything looks, it looks great, presentation-wise. Yeah. I wonder how... Uh, <laughs> so fancy, blender Randy. Looks it's really great. nice. Yeah. Like, I wonder how Randy prepared, or did he prepare at all? Mentally. Oh. I, yeah. I would think I would not want to eat at all. Right. Uh, w yes, I would want uh, nothing in my stomach. Uh, yeah. oh, too late. That way, if it comes up, that's the only yeah. thing coming yeah, up. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> but then again, Randy is fat, so he probably did eat. Yeah. Mm. yeah probably but true. maybe last night. Uh, man uh, Menace, it sounds like you know something. 
Oh no! I mean, we ate together yesterday for lunch, oh. and he did so have that. he ha- did have way more food than I did. Okay, well so, maybe he was duh. treating it as his last meal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is gonna be like a four thousand calorie shake. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. Packed with, with nutrients. Yes. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Vitamins. Yeah. I, everything's got to be covered with all the different things that are going in there. Mm-hmm. I'd imagine. So the suicide shake, what will Randy do for money? That is still to come this hour here on The Woody Show. The Woody Show. If you know the moon landing was fake and Bigfoot is real, well, hell, that's redneck news. And today's redneck news, this one is from Houston, where this woman and her five-year-old son, they were riding bikes down the street when a dog ran out. All right. That dog, a six-month-old boxer puppy named Aww. Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Now, his owner says that he opened the door to see what the dog was barking and barking and barking about. And as soon as the door is opened just a little bit, Bruno made a run for it. The owner chased after him, telling him, stop, get back in the house. But that's when the woman pulled a gun and shot at Bruno. Oh, multiple no. shots. Now, keep in mind, she's Jeez. on a bike ride with her five-year-old. Right. Okay. It I mean, I guess family who, bike ride. Like, who doesn't bring a gun for a nice little bike ride with a five-year-old? You yeah. never know. Try to find that person. But here's the thing. She missed the dog, only grazed the, the dog on the leg, but yep. her son took a bullet to the abdomen. Oh, oh no. damn. So he was rushed to the hospital in stable condition, non-life-threatening wounds. Now, when the cops arrived, mom, of course, was arrested, charged with deadly conduct with a firearm, and Bruno's owner was given a Class C misdemeanor citation for having a loose dog. So, oh, wow. But, I mean, that's your immediate reaction? A puppy's running at you and you yeah. try to shoot it? Yeah, she was there. Her husband was there. Yeah. The owner was, like, yeah, like What was going to happen? Trying to get it. Yeah. Yep. Trying and to get the puppy only kisses. thing she succeeded in doing is shooting her kid. Yeah. And I just go back All to, like, right. who brings the gun on a family bike ride? With Parents the of the year. Old. That's who. Yeah, so that's from Houston, Texas. <laughs> a mom arrested for trying to shoot a dog that had gotten loose and instead ended up shooting her five-year-old son. And that is today's uh. Redneck News! <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> more kids. I know, right? Yeah. Immediately. What an idiot. Yep. All right, we're going to take the break. We'll come back. What will Randy do for money? The suicide shake. What's going to go into this bad boy? Oh, boy. I mean, $50 is on the line, you guys. It sure is. That is next. Hang on. Go F yourself! The Woody Show. Back in a few. LA health officials say that the number of people getting vaccinated each week keeps going down. So now they think that herd immunity will not be reached until sometime in late August. No. And in order to have 80% of those 16 and older get their first dose of the vaccine, Another 1.1 million residents need to get the shot. And currently, the county is giving out about 100,000 shots per week. And that means herd immunity will take about a month longer than mm. previously expected. Well, as long as we open in two weeks from now, who cares? And they yeah. previously yep. thought it would be reached sometime in July. If you don't have the vaccine, saying, I don't care what happens yeah. to you. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen the yeah. stories. You've had people, plenty of opportunities. People yeah. who are 70 and 80 are still like just, just now getting it. Like, what have you been waiting for? Yeah. Yeah. It's not possible. Yeah, initially, I thought the older people were getting it first. Yeah. You know, yeah. incentivize yeah. them nope. with some like Werther's Originals or something. Get like, it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. right. Come get your shot. Right. Free bag yeah. of Werther's. <laughs> Extra <laughs> discount at Denny's. Yeah, that exactly. ought to do it. Uh, there's an update on the, the LA... murder she wrote DVD <laughs> set or something. <laughs> yeah. Right, oh. Matlock. Oh. Uh, there's an update on the <laughs> LA County fire captain who was shot by that fellow firefighter at the station at Agua Dulce. He's yet to be identified, but we do know he is 54 years old and he's recovering from surgery. He was airlifted to Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital in critical but stable condition. He had multiple gunshot wounds after that shooting at Fire Station 81 with life-threatening injuries. Doctors say those injuries have been addressed and the recovery process is ongoing. And meanwhile, hundreds attended a vigil the other night for the firefighter who was killed. He was Tory Carlin, and he had been with that department for over 20 years. Sucks. Totally sucks. You know, it might be a, a good incentive for everybody... LA and otherwise Mm -hmm. to get their vaccines is what Biden announced is uh, the month of June is going to be like this big push month of action a month of action right and uh, Anheuser-Busch has stepped up saying that if uh, we meet Biden's goal for the month of June everybody in America gets a beer that's right right. so all right I understand that you question the science and the 
medicine here, but uh, what if I told you there is a beer in it? I oh, no. Oh, beer. now I'm in. <laughs> a get a beer? Get yeah. a shot, get a beer. Heck a yeah. beer? A beer. I'm Hell there. Yeah. I'm there. Anything for a free beer. I think that people dumb enough not to get the vaccine may be dumb enough just to go, oh, okay. Well, you know, I was concerned about microchips, but yeah. beer. <laughs> but you did say beer, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right. You know, it is Wait hot. a minute. Back up. Yeah, it's hot back summer, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. This is the Woody Show. That's a, that's a, du- a jumping song, honey. I want a I want a beautiful dancing song, honey. You know the nice ones, honey. It's the Woody Show. All right. It is time, you guys. We gotta bring Randy in. Yeah. Mm. Rip. <laughs> what will Randy do for money? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, where are, we, uh, where are we setting Randy up? Is normal place over here? Right, and we'll blend over over right. here. And... Hey, Randy. Good morning, guys. So, uh, Good morning, Randy. Randy. Uh-huh. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, look how happy Randy is. It's like this again. I'd be happy with all that free money, I too. Know. Yes. All, all that, that cash. <laughs> I was curious, Randy, as to uh, your preparation for today. Like, did, Have you eaten anything? or No. Anything to maybe mentally geek yourself up? Um, I mean, I don't, I just, I don't know what to expect. Like a lot of athletes have a pregame ritual. That's you know? like, true. Yeah, I figured they listen as to the an athlete, same music, did you eat play, the same food. Yeah, because you did play high school football. Oh, really? I like, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, you didn't hear that? <laughs> ah, I did not know. Yeah, Randy oh, played high school oh, football. Oh, yeah, he was a Yeah, of All-Star, course, of course, right? yeah. So right. it's, wow. it's, it's typically the same process, which is yeah, just yeah, getting yeah. ready for like game time, you know? Four touchdowns in one game? Yeah, pretty much. Crap, that's pretty impressive. All right, so Randy, he spun $50 on the What Will Randy Do for Money Wheel. And so you guys helped us come up with this idea. This came off the text for a suicide milkshake where each person on the show gets to bring in an item that will blend in uh, this mixer that uh, Seabass brought yeah, in. A nice Vitamix. Which Greg is very impressed with. I love it. it I've always nice. wanted a Vitamix, and I've never gotten one. On account of expensive. No, on a con, of they're very well made, and you can make soup in them. But obviously, you never gotten one. They're very powerful. Not, not why you want one, why you haven't gotten one. I don't know why I haven't gotten one. Yeah. I, am I not allowed to like that blender or something? <laughs> I like it. Yeah, no, I'm very Greg. impressed by the blender. I yeah, very one. much like it. And so we're going to start with a uh, milk base. Right. right. 16 ounces of uh, whole milk here, and then Ugh. it's up to you guys to toss in the fixins. Ooh. Okay. All right. Now All it's right. going to be uh, like an eight ounce cup, you said, right? Yeah. yeah we've got a g- right. very nice goblin. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, a chalice. A crystal, yeah. I believe. <laughs> All right, so there goes the uh, milk base. Just a typical. Ooh, this, the, yes. this is, by the way, this is whole milk. Yes. Yeah. This oh, is, uh, yeah, we're not even going skim. No, yeah. that's sissy a little, stuff. A little right? bit, that water little bit creamy. All right, who wants to uh, do the first item? We'll let ladies go first. Okay. Yeah, gravy. What I brought is a chunky spiced pumpkin soup. Ooh. And the reason I brought that is because, number one, it smells gross. <laughs> and number two, I thought it would really add a lot to the color. You know, it would make it look yeah, yeah. truly okay. barfy. Yeah. Oh, All right. God. By the way, it smells to me really good. And yeah, how much of each of the ingredients are we going to put in uh, there? No more than six ounces. All right. So, so again, you know. we don't anything. We don't want any one thing. So to Greg, describe the action over there. You have a better Okay. Deal. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's in pouch form, which makes it look oh, <laughs> even it, grosser. It looks like diarrhea. It does. It does. Baby diarrhea. You know, it looks like baby food. It looks like chili. <laughs> oh yeah. God, that is oh. really pungent. <laughs> and it's so right? bad. It, it looks like a combination good. of diarrhea and Where did you even barf? get this, Rave? Uh, look, proper good makes a really fine soup. But, <laughs> Shut up, proper good, but... I brought a, I got a variety pack, and that was part of the variety pack, and I thought, I am not Oof. eating that. It looks a lot like peanut butter from over yeah. here. Right? <laughs> what it's very spiced. Would you like to hand that peanut butter, Greg? How, how thick is that? Um, experience I, it for yourself. It's, 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 it's a puree. I like that smell. It's a puree. It's, like, okay. it's too overpowering. It, the turmeric tumor, is very, dominating. Very, yeah, that's yeah. what that's what it is. Very yeah. overpowering. Very Indian sort of smelling. Yep. Uh, Who wants to go next? Greg, why don't you? All right. Oh, well, really? I brought something that I actually find incredibly delicious, but I don't think Randy's a fan. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what is it? It's yeah. really good. It is liver pate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, son. What the hell, Greg? And, Who finds yeah. it yummy? Oh, my and, God. It's, and it's from Croatia. That's Ooh. fantastic. Oh, then it's Ooh. good. It's Croatian Ooh. liver pate. Oh, well, no wonder he doesn't have one of these blenders. He spent all his money on Croatian Croatian <laughs> pate. pate. Yeah. What a yeah. delicacy. Yeah. And it looks oh, like cat food. Wow. What even and is it does pate? look like cat food. It's cat food. It and uh, is it has a wonderful like a liver paste. And, uh, oh, no. Uh, it doesn't smell bad. It's awesome, and I think, I, I, I think people are just thinking more in the context of all this stuff blended together. Of course, they right? Are. Yeah. And since it's a small portion, I can put a good amount in. Yeah, dump the whole thing. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> what the hell? Let's put it all in. Fifty yeah. bucks, Rand. Should be she nice said. and minerally. Yeah. Oh, that's. Why are you all this gross. passive aggression against me? That's not gross. Yeah. 
This is good stuff, Randy. Is All it? Right. Is it? Yeah, is it? But Greg? blended with pumpkin and milk. <laughs> All right, Menace, you're next. Go ahead. So I brought. <laughs> It's called um, Chili Onion Crunch. Now, it smells like gas and ass at the same time. <laughs> gas ass. And yes. It's all oil, and it's uh, chili peppers and onions. So are, you, are you supposed Ugh. to like toss that with like pasta or something like that? I don't even know what it's for. Yeah, it's uh. like a super spicy, <laughs> like spicy something. Think the size of like yeah. a, like, would be like a pesto jar. Yeah, you would kinda. definitely toss that in with uh, how yeah. hot is it whatever you like. All right. You know how hot it is? It looks because it looks super uh, hot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's slightly hot. Nothing that Randy can't handle. High five, Ranch. Uh, high five. <laughs> this seems like you guys just cleaned out your cupboards and just drive like. Oh no! <laughs> instead no, of throwing never, this out, I would never eat this. Ugh. By the way, Randy, I uh, I picked out some items oh. from the Seven Eleven, and they are both items that I would myself eat. Oh, that you oh, would. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wasn't like going to put anything in there that I wouldn't eat. Okay. No, you was... know, but I figured it would still be interesting in the context right. of this well, shit. Greg would now, eat his yeah. pate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not eating this pumpkin now, soup. I would not eat this. It looks like blood. Hold on, let me see how hot this is. How hot is this? Yeah, Menace, why don't you, yeah. give, why don't you give it a try? So it's chili, it onion, your... like oil? It, <laughs> he says it smells like gas and ass. It's like, just, just try uh, it. Uh, sure. Okay, now it got hot. Now it got a little hot. Yeah, it's, it has that, that molten <laughs> yeah. color yeah. to it. Okay. It tastes like oil at first, and then it gets hot. All right, Seabass, your item? All right, Ma uh, Randy, I've got a choice for you. you got two uh, items. Oh, okay. You get to choose. Oh, man. Exactly. All right, I'm scared. What is this? Drinker's choice. All right. This is the guy who literally... What will Randy do for money? This is the suicide shake. We started with the whole milk base. Everybody's got to add an, uh, an item in. The first one is something similar to what we've already had, but it's from the fine folks of Scotland. This is canned haggis. Oh, 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 oh my God. I didn't even know Where do you even find oh, haggis? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Folks who don't know, oh, haggis is no. a sheep's stomach then filled with lamb and oats and spices. Yeah. And, okay. But in a can form. Oh, it's really yeah, good for you. Sick. Other, Notoriously uh, terrible. What is wrong right. with you? <laughs> the other one is more of a wild card, Randy, and this one is actually a pill. It's an over-the-counter supplement. goes by the name Ejaculoid. Oh, yes! Oh, we know oh, this! Oh, <laughs> Dude, you should, see the loads, awesome. you should see the loads that you would produce with that. Oh, yeah. dude. It works. It legit yeah. works. We it's had been says... aware of this for like, what? Yeah, we had Tony. We had Tony the Whipping Boy who bought oh some out of God. curiosity and he took some and he said like he produced the most amazing, like the hugest <laughs> loads. But like, to the point it scared him. Yeah, it scared like, me. He said it was I'll tell scary. you what it says on the, and, on the package. He stopped taking it. It says all natural male explosions, support, <laughs> supports <laughs> orgasms, as we just said, supports <laughs> volume. Yeah. New Oh, new and improved, Randy. Really? You're supposed to take two, so I'll either six ounces of canned haggis or two pills of ejaculate. Wow. Yeah, FDA approved? I mean, oh, no. I don't think you put the, I don't think you put the whole can of haggis in there. No, it's just six ounces. Uh, yeah, six yeah, ounces. Yeah, yeah. Sixteen ounce can. I give like half of it. I mean, less. I guess I'll go with the jackaloid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jackaloid. Wow. Why not? Right. I mean, oh, I guess. I guess. I mean, how bad can two of them be? Right. I, no, I know. It's just it's that or sheep's stomach. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. What am I supposed it's to choose? Enjoyable. All right, Cameron, what'd you bring? Uh, I brought some probiotic fermented raw organic sauerkraut, which Ooh. he pre-opened uh, to throw in. And good it smells, one. It smells like Terrible. a fart. Terrible. All right, so why don't you add that Damn. in there? And then, uh, right. Randy, That's I have an option here of the 7 Eleven Red Hot Beef and Bean Burrito. Oh, the worst. Oh, God. Or a Tapatio pickle. Oh, no. God. Oh, no. So oh, it's a Tapatio flavored pickle. I get okay. that 7 Eleven burrito often, actually. Like I said, um, I would eat either one of these right, things. Right, right. Yeah. You know what? Well, I'm not with a Jackaloid and haggis but so far you know, the worst smelling is the sauerkraut how yeah, would right. the burrito grind up though i mean yeah yeah it's a it's, it's a, a vitamin yeah, it's 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 at this point, at this point i might as well do the burrito i think a burrito this okay. is really just going right. to become more of like a like a like a soup almost all right oh god that's <laughs> oh, the sauerkraut thanks, bad. thanks, thanks a so lot bad. cameron <laughs> cameron did you own that or did you go out and buy that i went out and bought it just for you it's got probiotics did you own that person he loves you the least. He's going to have no. the smelliest craps and a rock hard <laughs> stomach smell and a rock right. hard. Uh... Dude, it looks so bad. All right, there goes oh, the burrito. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what <are the> All right, <laughs> here we go. By the way, the ejaculate pills are like neon blue. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to try that. I, okay, I mean, that was, yeah. my, dude, All right, here that was we go. my thinking. Oh, and no. Fire it up. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now it doesn't look as bad. It looks like a peanut butter <laughs> shake. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, it has, it has the color enjoy. of a. Oh, you okay. Know. It has the color of this pumpkin soup. Yeah. Rev it up, bro. Get yeah. it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Uh, what will Randy? Oh, good God. Oh, it looks like straight diarrhea now. All right. Oh, my God. What will Randy do for money? This is the suicide oh, shake. Oh, uh, so $50. Terrible. So Cameron is. is are, okay, there you go. You can see the ejaculate still oh there. Oh, my God. Right, the, Did the, the ejaculate chalice? not grind up? Yeah. Oh, this is the, it's oh, my little, God. It's just like, a pill casing. Yeah, little blue flakes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, those, yeah. Will, those will digest. All right, Randy, here we go. Oh my God. You got this, Rand. I hate you, guys. Menace, I saved the other half of the burrito for you. There's like, it's like <laughs> blue sprinkles. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, this seems. Mu I think you just had to kind of close. Oh, yeah. No, he smelled uh, it. Why? Yeah, I don't know why we do that. I think the overpowering scents are the sauerkraut and then the menace spicy oil stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which ah! still tastes terrible, by the way. All right, here we go. Now he's getting himself hyped up. He's jumping up and down. The whole building <laughs> is shaking. I'm so scared. Okay, here All we right. go. That's a big glass. Here we go. Here we go. One, one, two, three. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, he's yeah. chugging, good. he's chugging. Good job. Oh, oh, he, has a, oh, he has a mustache. Check out the mustache. Nice. Oh, yeah. well he done. did it. Wow. It's Andy. Wow. That's a mustache. All right, so nice. describe, uh, describe the taste. Ah, it's touching my lips again. Someone uh -huh. give me a napkin, please. It's like chili. Oh, yeah. That, that menace oil was no, mega hot. Just lick it off. Dude, there's oh, still a little bit left. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, stop not drinking that. Oh, God damn it. All right, here we go. Full, there yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, All right, so yeah, describe, <laughs> describe, the, uh, describe the taste. It tastes a lot like chili. Oh, okay. okay. That is the scent, because that, that menace yeah. oil just killed yeah. it. Yeah, because yeah. menace's like menace's spice thing along with the turmeric mm. it, <laughs> makes it taste a lot like chili. Like The, the wow. spice is super overpowering. Also, yeah. that's why I think I chose the burrito, because the burrito at least makes mm. it now, mm, you know. Yeah. The beans. Nice palette. The beans and whatnot. I mean, he can, that was good he can kid himself into thinking that it's chili. Yeah. 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 Well, Randy, $50. Well, all right. and suicide yeah. milkshake. Very good. Do you think your load's increasing? <laughs> <laughs> Are you horny? I yeah. forgot that. I, oh, man. I'm going to remember. Eventually. Yeah, you will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you blow a giant one, <laughs> you'll be reminded. That reeks of chili. You'll need a second sock. <laughs> He's coming at you, Randy's girlfriend. Oh, oh yeah. God. Way to go. Oh, I feel so gross. FYI, your pubes are showing a little bit. Yes. Girls love pubes. The Woody Show. Creating awkward moments between Uber drivers and their customers since 2014. The Woody Show. We're going to be right back. The Woody Show will be right back. 877 woody If you want to call in, you can send us a text over to 22987. We had the topic on the air about, like, what's the fattest thing you've mm -hmm. done lately? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And I got to give it to this little girl in Minnesota. She was turning three, and she asked for a Lion King cake for her birthday party. Oh, babe. All right. Now, specifically, the scene where Simba's dad falls off a cliff and dies. Okay. That's what she wanted. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. All right. And she said that she wanted it like that because everyone in her party would be too sad to eat it, and ah. that she could eat the whole cake by hers. herself. Oh, heck yeah. That's hilarious. a menace level thinking. Yeah. That, that oh, really is. That Genius. is a smart idea. Now, here's That's a picture hilarious. of the cake that they got. Mm -hmm. Oh and wow! There's the girl. Look how psyched she looks. Oh my god, it's that's so yeah. dark. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a, it's a so it's dead Mufasa. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Menace's future daughter. Dude, oh I my god. god. Well, the yeah, problem is, if it's like Menace's daughter, he would eat the cake before it even. That's yeah, true. Be yeah, high yeah, and like, like, oh yeah. But she got the whole thing by herself. That's hilarious. So cool. <laughs> See, I remember <laughs> as a kid, funny. like the the pieces that you want were the ones that had like a rose. Because I was All extra the icing. icing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the corner piece. The corner piece. Oh, extra yeah. icing. Yeah. I mean, that's oh, yeah. a pretty amazing cake, but that Mufasa is that's all sad. fonded. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. that's you're not, not that disgusting. Wait, I'll eat it. Yeah. Yeah. You're not, yeah. I mean, you're not going to eat that. But she ate the cake part by yeah. herself. We used to like mm. call like dibs on like, oh, I want the flour. Okay, yep. well, I get the word, you know, my sister Robin, I get the words as R. Yeah. I get the R. I want my name. Which R? Birthday or your name? Which what do you think, idiot? <laughs> yeah. Everybody relax. Everybody's getting cake. <laughs> Simple plan. This is Addicted. Throwback Thursday on The Woody Show. You better give it up for these pear-shaped men looking just like their mamas. Mm. The Woody Show. And we are into another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world. It is Thursday morning. It's June 3rd, 2021. We are The Woody Show. My name is Woody. That is Ravy. Hey. We've got Greg Gorey. Heyo. Menace is here. What is up, Woody? He's our social media director. You Hi. can find us. You can follow us at The Woody Show on Instagram and Twitter. 
or on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Woody Show. We got Seabass. Yeah. We got fake news. Cameron. Good morning. So uh, Randy, he went through with it. The suicide shake. Like Impressive. Impressive. The smell uh-huh. still hangs here in the studio. Yep. Now, Menace, are you going to give it a try? What? The suicide it's... shake. No. <laughs> what? You're not going to try it? I thought you were like... Menace has kind. advanced beyond such shenanigans. What? I'm too good for this. <laughs> Blood. No, I said I'm always down. Yeah. But, I mean, what's the point of me trying it? Comparison. Because you're the kind of person who Fun tries stuff. for us? Just yeah, it's for shot. our entertainment. A shot of it? Or a little yeah, you, you don't, don't have to drink eight ounces of it. Like, just try it and then <laughs> tell, us, tell us what it tastes like. All right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah? go. All right. So Menace will, uh, Menace will give it a try right after Ravi's crap on celebrities. Yeah. Okay. That's more than a shot. Well, you don't have to take the you whole thing. You don't the whole oh, thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, just give it <laughs> you plenty to work with. <laughs> just give you plenty to work with, bud. The Woody Show on the radar. The latest in entertainment and sports, according to Ravi. This way he can uh, just eye it up. Think about it for yeah. a minute. Uh, <laughs> get a barf bucket, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Somebody what's happening moved in that basket. basket. Oh, it smells well, like the a foot. big news is in sports. Coach K, Mike Krzyzewski, who's the winningest coach in Division I men's basketball history, has coached Duke for 41 seasons, and he will retire after the upcoming oh, no. season. He's 74 years old and said this announcement is a celebration. So he'll take one more victory lap. He's led Duke to five national championships in his time there. He's also had some really good success. He coached the U.S. national team for 11 years, and Duke associate head coach John Shayer will replace him when he retires. Uh, Also, big news in sports, Medina Spirit, the Kentucky Derby winning horse, failed that drug test for too many post-race steroids in his system. Well, those findings were confirmed with a second blood test. Oh, no. And his trainer, Bob Baffert, has been suspended from Churchill Downs. The racetrack released a lengthy statement, including Mr. Baffert's record of testing failures, threatens public confidence in thoroughbred racing and the reputation of the Kentucky Derby. Given these repeated failures over the last year, including the increasingly extraordinary explanations, we firmly believe that we are asserting our rights to impose these measures, and it is our duty and responsibility. First of all, duty, yeah. And and what they're talking about is Bob Baffert has the most ridiculous explanations as to why his horses fail drug tests. (laughs) They're talking about it's always a stable hand. Like uh-huh. the stable yeah. hand peed on the hay bale, and then the horse ate <laughs> peed tainted hay. That's what Menace right. been yep. saying. And that's why, uh, like, I don't all know of how they keep on giving him chances. Though. I know. Exactly. Yeah, he should hire you as his communications director. <laughs> I'll take care of it. You'd be perfect. Uh, the final race of the Triple Crown is the Belmont, and that is on Saturday. And Bob Afford is suspended from having any horses in that race. A couple of NBA team seasons ended last night. Sixers beat the Wizards in their series. Hawks beat the Knicks in their series. So that, so that sets up a second round matchup between the Sixers and Hawks. So the East is set. Sixers and Hawks, Nets and Bucks in the second round. The only team that's officially moved on in the West is the Utah Jazz. They sent the Grizzlies packing last night. Chris Harrison's future with the Bachelor franchise. Still very much yeah. undecided. But they need him. But, well, they're not going to have him this summer. There's a new plan for Bachelor in Paradise. And that is for comedians to host the show. The only name so far, David Spade. I would, oh, I, I, I would watch that. Yeah, same. I, Love the spade. Well, the spade has signed on. They plan to sign some other comedians as well. Now, the upcoming season of The Bachelorette, that premieres next week. Chris Harrison will not be hosting that. A couple of former Bachelor contestants, Tasha Adams and Caitlin Bristow, are hosting in his place. The so, who, the huh? He's, yeah, exactly. So Good. he's still on timeout. And Menace, I'm sorry, you're going to have to take a shot of that. But some good news for you tonight. It is the mid-season premiere of Jersey Shore Family Vacation. Oh, heck yeah. Snooki returns. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, so, she's been gone. So now you don't have to complain to me that there's uh, nothing to walk. It's Sweet. coming back. And I don't know how you guys tolerate her. I spent five total minutes with Christina on the coast yes. and have deep regrets. <laughs> but the new season of her show premieres tonight Finally. on HGTV. I'm Ravy. That's what's on the radar. All right. Thank you very much, Ravel. Yeah, dog. All right. So, Menace. Yes. You ready to give a shot? Yeah. You get a shot with me? Me? No, yeah. You. What are you, high? No. Why not? I'm not the guy who tries stuff. You are. <laughs> don't, let, right. don't, don't let him deflect. <laughs> I'm not deflecting. I'm asking. He's offering. I'm offering some. Oh, you need that bucket. We can have two yeah. straws. Oh, yeah. There's no barf bucket, which I requested. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. We all know what it smells like because we can smell <laughs> yeah, it in here. Oh, like, so overpowering. Yeah. Oh. 
butthole. <laughs> Mixed right. with pumpkin. Right. Okay. <laughs> now we will uh, compare Randy's review to Menace's review yeah. of the uh, <laughs> yeah of the suicide shake. All right, he's taking a. Uh, oh, I was barely a nibble. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what we knew would happen. Oh Immediately. Instant. Instant. <laughs> yeah, that's what we knew. That's what I expected. Here we go, little, bu little buddy. And he, dude, he you got this. he had like a thimble. <laughs> that was a quarter of a shot. Like, I was gonna say maybe half a teaspoon. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, Randy had like a Eight giant ounces. Out. Yeah, there we go. It came out. Oh my god. He's on his knees. <laughs> Leaning into the butt. <laughs> Is it spicy like Randy said? Oh my god. A thimble went in and a pint oh. came out. <laughs> oh. That was all that coffee he was drinking. I seriously, I got lightheaded for a second. I thought I was gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> from the from the bar, Fedford? <laughs> no, like, once it started going down my throat, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna black out right now. <laughs> so, how was it coming yeah, back out? This spice. <laughs> What's the taste? It was uh, spice and, uh, I, yeah, I, I'm with Randy. Like the spice kind of like took over, wow. so that kind of helped a little bit. It did it? Yeah. As you're crying, it dulls the, the rest of the flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah but so. it's just like all you do is smell foot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> good, jo good job, Menace. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Boy, howdy! That sure got a tasty kick to it. The Woody Show will be right back. Listen to the non-threatening music of this master showman. It's going to be fun. We'll have fun with it. The Woody Show. I tell you what, like things like foot ramen <laughs> and the suicide uh -huh. shake, that'll sure uh, make you not want to eat. So uh -huh. that's, a good, that's a good appetite suppressant. <laughs> yeah. Blech. Yeah. Oh, the exactly. smell oh, yeah. alone. Exactly. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I promised Oof. you after I uh, mentioned that I had uh, been eating right and exercising and everything and i've been doing that consistently daily uh ever since the beginning of february yeah. february 1st was my first official day of doing that decided to finally crack open that weight watchers app that yeah. you've been I've paying been, for for over a year that i've been two years almost two it was, years, yeah because it was july of 2019 <laughs> yeah, it was I, july of 2019 that i signed up for it and i've been paying 60 bucks a month right and then I never opened the app, not oh once. Why was it so uh, expensive? Right. You kind of forgot about it, Because though, it right? includes, like, the coaching, which I never use. I was going to say, because they, they'll, they'll sit on the phone and talk with you about yeah, what they you will. Will. Oh, yeah? That's yeah, they will. So are you using coaching now? No, or no? I'm not. It's like, so why hey, don't you hey, change what back. you're paying for? Because uh, I might use the coaching. I don't okay. know. <laughs> All right. yeah, you don't know. I mean, yeah, I, don't, I probably won't. this whole time. I mean, you know. Might as well. Why change it now? Yeah. But, and it's, it, things are working. You know, right. so without coaching, that's what I'm saying. Without, without the coach, although like, oh. and this is this is the thing. I, I said I wasn't going to be doing a lot of talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, not going to be one of those people who like all they can talk about is you know, eating their right. And, Thank you. Uh -huh. What's that's they're what doing? Been saying. But uh, when you <laughs> are as much of a fat ass as I am, uh, and even a bigger fat ass than I was, like you know, back in February, I told you I hit the scale for the first time in a long time, and it was 298 pounds. Right. And I was like, good God, I didn't want to hit 300. Um, and so there's a lot of people that are in that boat and who are like me or us where we talk about food and, you know, it's just like we don't want to like completely do something trendy or fat or whatever. But you need you got to do something. I get off center. And so mm -hmm. I just told you every once in a while, I'll give you a little bit about it because I get questions. Obviously, there's a lot of people asking questions. Um, and the last weigh in, and I, I don't weigh myself even every week. Greg's weighing himself every day, which uh -huh. I multiple really, times a day. Uh, that's right. Bad, and that's I'm, tr I have to break that habit because it, it pisses it, me off. It, if yeah, I, if there's no problem. It does. Yeah. So I find because I, I lost a lot of weight like at first, right. And then things start slowing down a little bit. When I say slow down, I mean down to like three pounds a week because yeah. I had so much weight to lose. Right. Um, and I still have a long way to go. Obviously, um, but uh, you know, once it started getting like three pounds a week, I'm like, you know what, dude, I'm just gonna weigh myself every other week. Okay. And so it's every other Saturday morning. Okay. I wake up in the morning, and before I even have breakfast, I go out and I take my walk. That I, you know, I walk five miles a day. That's been my norm. Mm -hmm. uh, between five and six miles, and then I come home, and before I do anything else, I weigh myself. Okay. And so that's the it's the same time every you know week or every other week or whatever it is. But that's what they say to do. Greg's doing it every day. Every day. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Which other than that, like, I've just stuck to the Weight Watchers app and the, the points, points program, the points they give you, which is super easy. And I never want to be the guy. I'm never going to be buying like a food scale 
or doing you know things where it's like extremely complicated or whatever. Like this is so easy because you don't have to really change your food or what you're eating. You just have to enter it in there and it'll tell you exactly for that portion, like how many points that is. And so it really is an eye opener and I've been staying within my points. So I, I recommend the, the Weight Watchers app. And the reason I went with the Weight Watchers app was because uh, we have done a lot of different stories and things that we've seen. And there was one particular study that looked at all the different diets and all the different diet programs and apps and everything else. And they have found that overall Weight Watchers was the most successful and long term okay. successful. So I said, what the F? Uh, we'll do that. Yeah, but as of the last way on, I'm down like 53 pounds. That's great. Sweet. Since the beginning of That's February. That's insane. Because yeah. this, uh, this time around, the goal is to keep it off. Yes. Because, you know, I've, I've been friends with Woody for a long time, and this is like probably the third time I've seen you like drop a lot of weight. Yeah. And it's always gone back on. So the goal is to keep it off this time. Yeah. And the thing is now, it's like, I feel like I'm more, I already had an idea. Like I knew what I needed to do. I just wouldn't do it. Or I couldn't get myself you, motivated. You were quote too to far it. gone. How many yeah. times? Have you yeah, yeah, yeah. I hated yeah. every yeah. time yeah. you Multiple started. Times really. Really. Too and far it made gone. me so upset. Yeah, and, and I honestly felt that way. And you know, honestly, what it was that turned me around on that was watching my 600 pound life. Mm, good. Like, if these fat bastards, if they can do it, <laughs> okay. they can make they, the effort. Even if they, yeah. they, just losing weight before they got the surgery. Right, right. You know. Um, and I thought, okay, well, whatever. We'll we'll try that out. But I've become. Just like I am with everything else. I told you I went to a bowling party one time, a, a company party at a bowling alley, and I got so into it, I joined yep. a league. <laughs> yep. Like I, I get like really super focused into things right. once I latch on to something. And so um, I've been like reading everything I can. I've been watching all these different documentaries. I am uh, currently listening to a book, Ravy. Oh, okay. By the, uh, the woman who is the head of nutrition and wellness for Weight Watchers. And it's a, it's a really, it's a really good book. Um, it's called, it's total chick sounding book name, <laughs> Dressing on the Side. All right. And, ah. and, oh. and other diet myths debunked. So I'm like, oh, I'm like learning okay. different Sounds things. Interesting. But the whole thing is like, it's, it's, it's not like a fad diet thing. It's just things to be aware of and how to eat and how to whatever. And that's most of what they do uh -huh. is like, yeah. say, like, it's not like keto or anything ridiculous. It's just, right. Hey, this is what's going on in the world. Yeah. Just stop and think for a second. And you know, it's pretty easy. Like to just keep this in mind. Like if you keep the majority of what you're eating to produce fruits, vegetables, mm -hmm. nuts, beans, legumes, right. you know, things like that. Stuff that's not processed. Yeah, stuff like that. Whole foods mm -hmm. and then that's protein, so mm -hmm. chicken, lean beef, the chicken, fish, chicken. Right. Mm -hmm. not fried chicken. chicken. Ah, weak. Uh, not fried chicken. Allegedly. You know, and so the other thing <laughs> other than that, I've just been, anything that says added sugar, which is a lot easier to figure out now because the new labels just started in 2021, where now it'll list how much, how many grams of sugar are in something, but this is including added sugars. So I'm trying to avoid the added, added sugar sugars. stuff because yeah. fruits, they have natural sugar. Milk has natural sugar in it uh -huh. in the lactose and stuff. So like you can't, I mean, you could, you could really try to avoid all sugar, but I'm not looking to do that. I'm not looking to cut out all carbs, but if I can make a decision to have vegetables instead of carbs, I'm doing that. So all these little things I think combined with the walking and I'm doing weight training, all that stuff. Nice. Um, you know, He's going to get stuff, yoked, bro. All mm -hmm. that stuff is, has contributed to, like I said, as of, and I got to weigh myself this week over the two weeks. Okay. So I'll see what the progress is, but uh, the latest latest update is 53 pounds. Fantastic. Right? Fantastic. And how are you feeling? Are you feeling better? No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the schedule, the yeah. Schedule, yeah. I, mean, I, I feel better as far as like, you know, I can put on clothes. Walk upstairs. Yeah. You know, that, uh, you know, like right. emotionally better. You're not going to jump a curb in a van now to avoid 20 steps? Maybe. <laughs> right. No, but like, um, like I had to buy, I had to buy new jeans. Nice. You know, um, I had to buy like the, a new one of the, I, I wear like the same shirts all the time. Yeah. So I he's, had to buy pull, he's pulling a menace now. Yeah. Same outfit, yeah, right. same uniform yeah. every day. You become every a cartoon day. character. Yeah. 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 It's like. Yeah, Steve Jobs. So I had to buy you know some more of these shirts, but in a, in a smaller size, and I don't have to stretch them at all. Any mm -hmm. fat guy will tell you like sometimes you have to do the yep. stretch. Yeah, you, know, no, you find something that. What fits do you mean? You stick with it. Don't have to do that. You stretch your shirt out before you put oh, it. We talking about that, right? Yeah, because it, it gives you a little bit extra room. Yeah, the, some give in the in the trunk. <laughs> oh, it doesn't cling as tightly. But gotcha. yeah. to back to the original point, you don't have to spend sixty bucks a month. You for you yeah. who's not doing the coaching, you could do it for twenty. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why you keep paying That'll for still, coaching. Because I, I set up the whole thing and I, I left it and like I, I'm very superstitious about <laughs> it. Like, I wanna, 
<laughs> now, if I did oh something God. like that, he no, would I, belittle me. No, oh I did. my that God. Is true, that, is that is true. You are so stupid. You don't know how the app works. No, I right. do. I know how it works, and I did, I'm telling you, right. I did think about it no, because I'm really not. I'm really not using the coaching, but I did think about it. and I'm like, you know what? Everything's working. Can't I'm you? not touching it, and I'll. Yeah, like, I'm just not. Okay, that's worth that's, that forty dollars. That's yeah. a bit ridiculous, but hey, you got forty dollars to burn every month. More power to you. Oh please, you spend money on dumb stuff. We all spend money on our own dumb things. Yeah, Ravy. Yeah, but if yeah. I I'm, I don't pay for anything I'm not using. She uses her dumb stuff. I right. She enjoys exactly. it. Exactly. Those baby Yodas bring her joy uh, every they day. They do. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. I enjoy like my dumb stuff. If you want to use the coaching, can't you just reinstate it then? Yeah, you could always. Yeah, I'm that sure. is true. It's yeah. like any like Hulu point, or whatever. You right. can go to Hulu. But I did, I did reach I mean, out to uh, the woman who wrote that book. Um, her name is uh, Jacqueline London. J-A-C-L-Y-N. So it's got to uh-huh. be a fancy spelling. Yep. Um, but uh, I reached out to her to see if I could uh, you know, become one of her clients because she does have, you mm. know, She'll do like, you know, telehealth type of stuff where, you know, you can just go over your diet and how things are going and uh-huh. she can kind of advise you because like, I'm trying to learn more about, I'm trying different foods, Seabass. Really? Oh, no, I'm, see drink, you. I'm drinking, I'm eating more fish than I've ever eaten in my <laughs> life. Wow. Right. I'm having fish probably three or four times a week. Wow. Maybe yeah. you and James Corden can have a coaching session Oh, together. dude, that yeah. sucks. I saw the commercial. Uh-huh. It says, like, when did he start doing the Weight Watchers thing? About 15 years ago. No. Yeah. Okay. It was like the end Before of last year. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. And he's lost 20 pounds since then. Big deal. Well, at least he's down. <laughs> but he has crap yeah, services course. and stuff. Yeah, and again, he's yeah. mega rich. He could have people food everywhere. Yeah. Hand yeah. spooning things. My, God. Uh, my question right. is, what about exercise? Any exercise at all? Uh, walking. walking. Five miles walking. a day isn't enough exercise for five you? Five miles a day, and I'm doing 30 minutes of weight training nice. most, most days. At the box? Right. CrossFit? Yeah, yeah. No, with uh, I have mm-hmm. tonal. Yeah. Total, the yeah, mirror, right, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the mirror, but with weights. Right, right. Um, and Tony Horton has, he's one of the trainers on there. And I awesome. use, That's I, cool. I use like almost all the Tony Horton. I told classes. you he yeah. was a dope individual. Yeah, yeah I do like him. Like low dope. impact. And, yeah. Oh, like, can I shout well, out? It's high intensity. Like, right. you know, so like it's you're, a hit workout. Yeah. yeah. You were talking about, you know, clothes real quick. We always shout out Alfani. That's a fat guy friendly brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I found another fat guy friendly brand. It's at JCPenney. <laughs> it's called St. John's Bay. Their t shirts, oh, very fat guy friendly. Shout yeah. out to them. All right. Shout, Shout out. out. Doing Shout the out Lord's work. And great spices, too. Yeah. <laughs> St. John's Bay. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We got some more Woody Show for you next. Hang on. Oh, great. The cops are here. Okay, sit tight for a few. The Woody Show will be right back as soon as the heat dies down. Okay, come here. Guys, freaking get down. Well, Tito Ortiz's stint in local politics is over. Oh, no. It's over. No. Dude, it's incredible anybody ever voted for that guy. <laughs> I, I saw the video of his resignation uh-huh. like yeah. where he was like trying to read his own statement. <laughs> uh-huh. And it was like menace reading his own statement. Oh, it was, wow. Oh, really? Oh, it was so bad. Yeah, he resigned yeah. from Huntington Beach City Council. His reason was unspecified threats to his children. His resignation took effect immediately after he announced it the other night. Tito said he ran for city council with hopes to better his community and make it his community more beautiful and more safe. But he said he was met with hostility and judgment from day one and he was slandered and defamed and he felt his family was in danger and that the job just wasn't working for him. Yeah. Well, he said that uh, he wasn't prepared for the partisan part of politics. Exactly. So I'm thinking like, uh, welcome. Uh, who, who on earth isn't aware of how partisan politics are? Right. How poisonous. So, how many like yeah. punches to the head, dude? Have you I taken know. He did not realize that. Criticized a lot for refusing to wear a face mask at lots of city events and for being opposed to the COVID-19 vaccination. So up next, the Huntington Beach City Council is going to be talking about the timeline for appointing a new council member to fill Tito Ortiz's vacated seat. Uh, I, like, I don't know much about the guy other than he was a fighter. Yeah. And wasn't he married to uh, Jenna, Jenna Jameson, Jameson yeah. at one point? Mm-hmm. So. Um, other than that, he might yeah, be a great. Really he might anything. he might be a great guy. I don't know, but, but people man, watching, were excited when he was running. But then he just because they knew acting, who he was. Exactly. Yeah, this, he started acting like a hole during it's the pandemic. Celebrity, so yeah. people were excited. Yeah. But man, yeah, watching that video yesterday, I'm like, <laughs> good Christ! Oh man, it made big news. Uh, in your opinion, which t- uh, state totally stinks? We mean literally. Which one smells <laughs> the worst? Smells. Well, according to the ranking of all 50 states, California actually stinks. Made the list at number two. Two, wow. Only downwind of Maryland. Florida was what? third, followed by Delaware and Massachusetts in the top five. So to figure it out, there were four different categories of stink that were considered. They factored in how dirty the air is, 
how many landfills there are, dental health as a measure of bad breath. Yeah, finally. And That's breath. what I've been saying. Population huh. density. So to, between the smog, the landfills, and Menace's mouth, California <laughs> had no chance. <laughs> right. Right. Number two. It's, it's amazing it didn't beat out Maryland. <laughs> yeah. Your property values suck now. And then also population a breath. density to estimate how much BO. Yeah. Uh, now if they figured in government stuff and taxes, I'm sure California would have beat out Maryland easily. Yeah. So that's what's happening, one. You know who else is going to run for public office? They just ana- uh, made the announcement. I heard it. It was yeah. on the news they covered this. Fair Abraham, who was one of the teen oh, moms, the backdoor on. teen mom. Yeah. Really? Gross. She says as soon as she turned 30, she's going to run for a public office. She didn't say which one specifically, but then there's a picture of an American flag behind her. Oh, the whole thing. Really? And, she, and she just turned 30. So maybe she'll run in the ah. recall. Oh, my God. Really? Like, oh. It is Throwback Thursday. Uh, it's pretty good. I hope it's not too good, though. I'm thinking maybe it's not good. The Woody Show. You know, who can you trust these days? Right? Did you see the whole thing about uh, Fauci's emails? I did. It's No. The sheer volume of them, yeah. it's kind of hard to follow exactly. Yeah, well, the New York Post, they had something about it yesterday on their website. And yeah. then I guess BuzzFeed News, they're the ones who posted all the... Um, because they're the ones who obtained them through the Freedom of Information Act. Right. Yeah, there are thousands of them. And so the gist of it is that Fauci was warned that the coronavirus was possibly engineered in a lab. Right. And he seemed to take reports about that seriously. But at the same time, he was publicly downplaying the idea that it was created in a lab. And also got a personal thank you for promoting the natural origin theory from the head of some like nonprofit group or whatever that used some government grant money or it's just, it's, but because this government grant money oh, by the way also funded research at that Chinese lab yeah that's suspected of creating the virus in the first so yeah that that's a whole thing it's uh, but I'm now, like what somebody who works for the government you can't trust him what? what it's confusing for sure now were these leaked emails or well no they, they got no, 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 it because it's through the Freedom of Information oh, okay. Act no, yeah. some really of them, them I guess some of it was blacked out I guess yeah of hmm. course redacted then we yeah. learn that redacted yeah yeah uh, and then the other story man this is disappointing the former CEO of the Des Moines Iowa chapter of the Make a Wish Foundation. Yeah. has pled guilty to charges of embezzlement. Who oh is stealing God. from sick kids? Man. Right? Oh, this sucks. Her name is Jennifer Woodley. She admitted that she made unauthorized charges on the company credit card, basically. Oh, God. And not a few bucks here or there. at $41,000. <laughs> she gave herself, like, a bonus, an increase in her salary. I'm going to give myself a bonus. Yeah, and then when, um, you know, she had to make the entries into the official records or whatever, uh-huh. I guess she fudged those. Oh, my God. So her punishment, I know you're thinking probably the death penalty, right? I would think, right? yeah, prison, right? Uh, I would basically think. a glorified slap on the wrist. What? Yeah. What? She made a plea wow. agreement, so she's got five years of probation. Oh, no. She's got to pay a fine, and then when the probation is over, she'll have the embezzlement expunged from her record. Oh. Oh, what my God. Probation? Really? How will she ever survive it? Did she like, help some dude. kids? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that she did her job. She gave know. herself a raise. Yeah, and sucks. a bonus. And a bonus. Yeah, I know. But, like, I, man, you want to talk about... No, oh, that's bad karma right there. That's terrible I know. Yeah. karma. The Make-A-Wish Foundation? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give myself a raise. I'm going to embezzle. And a bonus. Here's, and my yeah. Yeah, here's, yeah, here's my wish. Yeah, here's my wish. Here's my wish. Raise. A, a massive salary. I got a legitimate question. So Make-A-Wish Foundation, I always thought were for kids who were, like, they were dying. Like, these kids right. were not going to make it. No. But it seems like now that you see a lot, like, uh, kids who have recovered from... Uh, you something know, serious. Yeah, yeah, something serious or whatever. So it's open to everybody, that, that, too. You don't have to be sick. Has that always been the case? What do you mean you don't have to be sick? You don't have to be sick? No. You can't. Uh, so anybody can apply. Anybody can apply. If you're not sick, they're not going to accept you. Okay. So basically, they don't accept they, you unless you're sick. I mean, <laughs> hundreds of thousands apply. They only yeah. select a very. You know, right. Few yeah, but I believe. Applicants. I believe you don't have to be sick. Yeah. yeah. And that's a birthday month. I always thought yeah, it was just for like, yeah, right. like so. kids who had like a terminal. terminal that's yeah. what I would think. You can't be like, hi, I'm Menace. Yeah. And like their I last dream. Big I had a really bad flu last <laughs> yeah, week. Yeah, I dream of driving a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and I, I feel great. That. And I want to see the offices 
of uh, Amazon. Yeah. Yes. I want to see their cubicle. Yeah. I and what's go their there. food game? <laughs> and their commissary. Yeah. Right. Where to food at? Please yeah. make that happen. Make a wish. <laughs> make a wish. Eight seven seven forty four. What if you want to call in? You can send us a text. Uh, check in over to two two nine eight seven. Tell us your name. Tell us exactly where around town you're listening. Plus anything else or whoever else you'd like to have us mention when we get to your check in. Send it over. Two two nine eight seven. We'll be right back. Ooh. Ooh. Baby, baby, baby. Stop it. The Woody Show. I got you, boo. More Woody Show next. Right after this. Oh, no. The Woody Show. You cannot own more than five raccoons at a time. Well, that's a good thing. No. <laughs> Can you ever really own a raccoon? There's, there's always such... You've heard the same, too much of a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> there's always someone who will end up ruining it for everybody. You know? The person with ten raccoons. Yeah. And no, you can't own one. You can be a guardian. Yeah, you can yeah. guard. Yeah, you can yeah. be a guardian. Yeah. Cuddle like, with one. Raven's got two cats. And yep. then yep. we heard the story this morning about the woman who had 50 cats. Yep. You know, she was hoarding cats or whatever. It, ju- it starts oh with God. good intentions, and yeah. then all of a sudden you it's look snowballs. around. Yeah. 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 What have I done? Yeah. Well, we're into another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world. We are The Woody Show. My name is Woody. That is Ravy. Hello. We got Greg Gore. Hoy, Wood. Menace is here. What is up, Woody? Our social media director. You can Hi. find us. You can follow us at The Woody Show on Instagram and Twitter or on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Woody Show. See Mask, good morning. Yeah. We got fake news, Doc Cameron. Good morning, Woody. Bort and Nick Soundwave are here. They're on the job there in the production studio. Good morning to you, fellas. Randy is here, and we got the phones open at 877 44 Woody. That's 877 44 Woody. You can also send us a text over to 22987. So, all these shortages, production issues, supply chain stuff. Where are where, them chips at? Yeah, where's the ch- chips? Where the meat? So the pandemic created a ton of these things. Things still seem to be delayed or running out everywhere. Uh, apparently, it's also caused a shortage of porta potties. Oh no! Huh. Specifically in Maine, this company called Royal Flush. They currently have a back order of more than sixty of them, and they say this is causing issues for new customers. Uh oh. Oh, we. They say units are being rented out for longer periods of time because of the pandemic and the factories that uh, make them. They're running into manufacturing issues and all of their crappers are already contracted for more jobs. And since they're prioritizing returning customers, other businesses looking for Porta Johns just going to have to wait a while. But right now they're hoping they can get it all under control sometime later on this month, which is a pretty quick turnaround. And I was thinking about that because, you know, these companies, a lot of them are losing money, you know, and I understand it's a supply and demand thing. And so you can raise the prices, but like, look at the cost of lumber, like lumber's up like 9,000%, Yeah, (laughs) you know, and so that's affecting a lot of other things, everything from contractors to people building homes and, you know, so like the, the lumber situation, that'll correct itself. Because the you know the the processing the mills or whatever they're gonna you know get back on track they gotta get back on track but then there's all this other stuff and then there was an article that somebody forwarded me it was either the New York Times or the L A Times one of them and uh, I didn't read the whole article but they were the friend was explaining it to me so basically Toyota is the one that started this whole business model and it's called the last minute business model. Okay. okay, so they ended up saving a ton of money doing things this way, and they were doing this for years before the pandemic hit, and a lot of other industries, so not just automotive, but like a lot of other industries adapted to this model because they saw, oh, well, Toyota's doing this, they're saving money. So basically, the last-minute business model is that, uh, and this is what created the problem here, is that uh, they were basically getting parts the day before they would end up being installed into the uh, the assembly line process. So, like, they would get it, it would go in the car, car goes out. They're not holding any inventory. Oh, okay. So they were only getting stuff as they needed it in the moment that they needed it, and then that was it. Okay. So Those they're not holding stuff, inventory. Yeah. yeah, so if there was an issue or a hiccup or, you know, people mm-hmm. who... So that's why they're screwed with these chips, because they were getting these chips right. last minute, uh. and then all of a sudden COVID hits, now the chip... People are, mm. are, dry. are down and out, so it's mm-hmm. dry. They can't make any cars. They can't even put anything out because they have no supply, no inventory. And again, this is not just them. This was yeah. and a bunch yeah. of other industries. There's a whole big article about it. Again, I'll, I'll try to find the link, and I'll have Menace post it, but um, God, either in my email or my text. But yeah, it was either the LA Times or the New York Times had a big article about it. 
but basically also says that uh, things are ramping up pretty quickly because, as we all know, any of these places that were shut down for a while right. or at reduced capacity, they weren't making money either. Right. So they're looking to get back to making money, and there are certainly customers out there who need these products. We, we I told you uh, the uh, dealership was thirsty to buy my wife's car back. Yeah. They go, yeah. can you bring it back like within the next today, couple hours? Today. Yeah. Yeah. That's and insane. just dropped it off in the dealership I usually go to. Hundreds of cars, seven cars. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. If you, if you drive by a car dealership and you, and you look, I mean, they usually park all the cars that they've got along like the side of the road, like right. that you see from the road looking at the dealership. But if you look behind it, it's kind of like if you've ever been on a studio tour where they make movies and televisions, a lot of those facades. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. You know? Mm -hmm. Wow. Empty. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's not going to be over anytime soon either. This is like. Well, we're, porta potties are going to be back by late June. They <laughs> right. say. Thank God for that. Chip wise, yeah. though, that's going to be Chips, we're yeah. either in the middle or not even at the peak yet of the this this you know the drought. peak chip drought. Oh wow! You don't think? No, they're they're building new factories for these things, but those won't come online for a couple know, of but years. What, what about the ones they already had? Like those can pump out chips. Well, that we've been. That, then why we need more chips? Right. And it's just there's such a because the chip demand isn't just cars. It's yeah, everything. everything. Pretty much everything we're using. Yeah. PS5s, man. <laughs> we need those. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Where are they at? Uh, man, I said your wife get a good deal for returning the car back. Yeah, they they incentivized well, they, it, right? I mean, yeah, they they paid off everything yeah. and then a little extra on top of that. And so you just turned her car in, like you didn't get a new one. No, just yeah. turned it in yeah. because she's working from home. So yeah, it was like, all right, take and, it. And Menace works across the street from where he lives, and yet he still drives all the time. Sure. Have you yeah. changed that since you uh, turned the other car in? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Come on, man. I told you, I'll never do that. What's Can't the, stop, what's won't the stop. Fake excuse, drunk drivers. That, that, yeah, it's uh, worried about getting it's too hit. dangerous. Well, to that was the, the joke that Woody made, but I, oh. I also no. don't go. I don't go home every day. Every no. so every single day. I didn't. Uh, hold on, let me correct that. Yeah. I didn't make that up. You're the one who said like. No, you Woody said you almost got up. hit by yes. a car one day. That was not my story. Well, I, That's your story. I did. Line. Eventually, I did. The only person who's been almost hit by a car was Ravy, and Menace That's was right. driving the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's one block. By the way, since I've moved closer, I, I have walked to that hour. I've narried to be hit by a drunk yeah. driver. But so every single, now his other excuse, this is the new one, is every single day he has errands to run. Right. Which, so walking back across the street would be a total time waster. Right. But it's yeah. five days a week, really. Yeah. And you never go straight I love on. that. You guys are obsessed with it. I'm like, not, who I cares? Uh, sorry, we love the planet, right, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, I it's just curious. Hybrid, like, I would so, love, yeah. dude, I would love electric. to live within walking distance of work. That'd be dope. Mm hmm. Be even be doper awesome. if you could just drive your car across the street. <laughs> yeah, it would be even better. We make jokes about people that don't want to like walk anywhere that they'll drive to their mailbox. Yeah. Like, they'll get in their car, back down the driveway, <laughs> get out, pick up uh -huh. the mail, yeah. get back in their oh, car, yeah. drive back up the driveway. That's almost menace. Yeah, it's fun. At this point. It's, it's, fun. Is, it's, it's fun. fun. It's fun. It's fun. And you get that 15 seconds <laughs> of radio, radio because it is, good. it is that close. You get started. If, I had enough, if we had a different shift, I would walk. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm he, about a mile away, a little bit less. But Menace could get in the car, turn on the radio, right? But not and have there reception because be, it would be from one garage right, to another right, garage. Right. Saying, there could be a commercial on. He would be at work by the time that commercial. Oh, easily. Not, the, not the commercial break. The commercial was yeah. over. I've never hit a commercial. Maybe it's the lucky. timing. Yeah. yeah. Lucky man. <laughs> so, so take that. So many ways. So take, take that, that yeah. commercial. Now oh, you're wrong. Yep. Yep. Right, we got some more Woody show for you next. Hang on. <laughs> The Woody Show. BlueChew.com, promo code Woody. You all know, listening to the podcast, that is the place to go for men to get stronger and longer lasting performance in bed. And that's the thing that some people, I think, are confused about, is if you just want to last longer, Blue Chew could be exactly what you need. You don't have to be 80 years old and falling into the duck pond while you're feeding them. No. If you go to the FAQ on BlueChew.com, it's right there. Who is Blue Chew for? Should be whom, but whatever. Blue Chew is for individual males over the age of 18 in the U.S. who want an increased chance of stronger and longer lasting erections. And that's what Blue Chew does for you. Again, make sure you use the promo code Woody for your first month free. You're just paying five bucks for shipping. After a quick online consultation, you are getting actual legal prescriptions for a chewable with the same active ingredient that you would find in a Viagra or a Cialis, but direct to your door at a fraction of the cost and super fast, super easy. Again, that's B L. U E C H E W dot com promo code Woody and we thank them as always for sponsoring the podcast. Who's my little pumpkin princess? The Woody Show. You're my baby girl. You're my little pumpkin mouse. Now the question is, who's I talking to there? Was I talking to my daughter or the dog? 
Yeah, right. Or ravey. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I was on the phone I'm with the ravey. I'm the pumpkin yeah. princess. Here, yeah. here is pumpkin princess. Yeah, I see she's calling. I'm like, <laughs> who's my little pumpkin princess? <laughs> <laughs> it is the Woody Show. Welcome back. Uh, you guys want to do some This Week in Audio? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll find out uh, what Seabass has curated for us. Mm-hmm. Always some uh, some good stuff to dive into. What do you got for us this week? Got some audio from Mobile, Alabama. Fox 10, in fact. A guy who was arrested for stealing a vehicle from a fire department. I don't think it was an actual fire truck, but he was arrested. And for whatever reason, it was the big news. And so... They show his perp walk. You know, he's being walked oh, from yeah, yeah. the jail or the holding cell to the jail jail. Those are always fun. Those are always fun. Yeah. Cameras were there. And his name's Jeffrey McCants, and he had a message for the local news crews. All right. Hello, my name's Jeffrey McCants. I'm running for mayor of Mobile, Alabama, baby. Why did you take the vehicle? Man, if I had a woman like you, I wouldn't even took it. Come on, Jeffrey. <laughs> but I took it because <laughs> God told me to. Huh. God oh. help me do everything. I steal everything, man. I stole you. I steal your heart, baby. Come on, Jeff. Let's get it, buddy. <laughs> God help me do everything. Good and bad, man. He helped me to get away from the police. All right. Oh. <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah. So you're with the police. As he's in custody. <laughs> he I the steal poly. everything. Yeah, it's been game. I'll so, steal your heart. Now, he was. He had an accomplice. I tell you so. what, he's got some game, though, right? Yeah. yeah. He's hitting on That'd work on you, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just That's melt swagger. the pants That's right off. Your heart. Oh, yeah. If you were my girl, I wouldn't even steal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he had a guy who stole it allegedly with him. His name's Henry. So the other news guy goes up to Henry. He's being loaded in the other side of the police SUV. And Jeffrey isn't going to hear these questions. Why'd y'all sell the car, man? Right? No, I did it, man. He ain't do s. <laughs> I did everything. Excuse my language. I did everything. Hey, look, when I get out, I'm going to steal a police car. Uh, I am. All right. Oh, all that's right. a smart thing to say. Yeah. Right? That's all right. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. I mean, if you're going to go down, go down swinging. Yeah, right. Really? Yeah. Steal your heart, steal a police car. Yeah, don't snitch out your friend. Right. That's a loyal friend. You know what? I appreciate that a lot more than these guys. Like, I didn't do it. Right. Nope. Didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Like, you were caught in the stolen car. Didn't do it. No, no, it wasn't right. me. Yeah. Not me, man. They got the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I steal like, everything. He's yeah, not yeah. snitching on his friend, and he's blaming God. Right. Well, like he, God yeah, made him do it. it. I would say, but he didn't. Crediting no. God. Crediting God. Oh, yeah. crediting okay. God. Yeah. <laughs> right, so layer. it's uh, this week in audio. And how did we not get a heads up, Greg? This is going to bring back bad memories Uh-oh. for you. A heads up that Cameron's wife was on the season premiere of America's Got Talent. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. She was? That's, that's true. Right, yeah. yeah. Yep, she was sure as hell was. Her name is Katie, and... She did a bit, which was basically just a pun, uh, yeah. where she was a Jello wrestler, but she didn't have a partner to wrestle in Jello. She just wrestled the Jello. She had a tub of Jello, and she, you know, would drop elbows on the tub, punch the tub of Jello. She was wearing like a blue spandex thing, like sort of '80s style mm-hmm. workout clothes. Unfortunately, she didn't get a full feature. Wait, are you being serious? No, yeah, yeah. That was oh yeah, this is real. Yeah. yeah, they had her do that. They had her do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So okay, that that was going to answer my question because like that's not. She doesn't do this on a regular right, basis. No. That's not, it's That's not, not one her, of her talent. Hobbies. Yeah, so I'm saying like, uh-huh. what's I'm saying like, America's Got Talent. They they present yeah. it as if like, okay, well, uh, we have these people who are trying to be the next, uh, you know, discovered Comedian, talent, yeah. singer, and they do or something. jugglers. Right. Yeah. There yeah. was this other guy that was completely phony. Um, that I saw somebody had retweeted it, but uh, some guy he looks like he's like mostly bald. He's got like a, a crazy old Ebenezer Scrooge haircut. Yeah, and he like does some like crazy dancing yeah. to like video, yeah. video game music See, that or whatever. See, fake to me too. Yeah, and, I'm like, okay. well, he, well, he's, def- he's definitely doing a character. They loved him. Yeah, they really yeah, loved my, him. My wife was right in with his bit. So yeah, she, yeah. so she was cast for this. Yes. This is not like. She applied to be on America's Got Talent. Yeah. So how does that work? They say, hey, we know you're a local so-and-so. Do you have anything random and stupid? So apparently they, they hit up comedians and have them do characters like this to fill in between all okay, the other so that's stuff that's got to be this, this other guy oh, that I wow. saw, the dancer yeah, guy. Essentially, he, yeah, they're a punching bag for the... For Simon Cowell to say, F, right. what is this crap are you do?" But yeah. aren't there enough untalented people out there? <laughs> yeah, that, that they don't have the cast. That they don't That's exactly that. what right. I yeah, Think about the psychos I meet on the, or I used to yeah, meet on the exactly. street. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah, they, they don't have enough of those people who are trying to legitimately be on America's you Got Talent. Think. This is, Greg, as the lead AGT ho- I do love that show. Yeah. Is, that, is that disappointing? Uh... No, because you can kind of tell when you watch the show that there's no way they believe that themselves. they believe themselves that they have talent because it's so far fetched. Like Katie it's so wrestling the job. right? So like there. it's okay. so far fetched. I know, but like when you but, watch that though, like I would think if I'm just a regular you know viewer of that show, I would think like, oh, this chick 
you know, she is a weirdo. Yeah, know. she is just trying to be on America's just, Got right. Talent. Yeah, much like on American Idol, for example, if you're a terrible singer, like they, you know, that they don't think they're. Good and it was it was a few, no. A they're few, just trying to get on TV. There's no way. Right. And a few years ago, I went backstage and did the auditions at a, uh, you know interview, and I found some re- legit psychos. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> they, can't, I know can't you're there. On. Yeah, casting people. All right. So yeah, yeah like, like you were but saying. The one thing I. Here's yeah. what I don't know as the viewer. Do the judges know that they are See, I don't think so. I don't whatever. think so. Of course. They got to. They have to, I, right? I, no, or they can recognize I don't know if they know who specifically is. But yeah. They probably okay. know that some that people some are. are. Yeah. Is this is this AGT's way of getting around the, quote, meanness factor that American Idol had oh, to deal maybe. with? Maybe. Because, yeah, like, look, hey, at least our freaks are just playing freaks. They're not actual R words. Right. I know they had to use way less people too because of the I pandemic. Kind of. So anyway, like you said, there's this guy. They put her on as like B-roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is uh, again Cameron's wife, Katie, being told that she is wrestling Jello as a Jello wrestler on AGT. Hey, I'm Katie K, and I Jello wrestle. Wrestling, as far as I know, normally involves two people. Well, in quarantine, you gotta switch things up. <laughs> Oh, she got a laugh from Howie. She got a laugh from yeah, Howie. 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 Yeah. Now, did she write that joke herself, or was that also provided? What's that? Did she write that was joke that a, herself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, a, that was, was an right, unscripted here, moment. Here's, here's what they're going to say. Hmm. So check it yeah. out on Hulu or whatever. It's, uh, yeah, she has Cameron's it up wife. on uh, KDK Comedy as well. And that, and then just wrestles? She just, like, elbow she, yeah, it. she wrestles the Jello. Yeah. How much like, did uh, she get for that? Uh, nothing, I don't think. You what? get paid for that? No. That's a freebie? They don't yeah. think a scale or whatever? It was a right. three shooting days, too. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's so weird. It wasted so much money in two yeah. days. Every time. 12, like, I think it was yeah. three 12 hour days. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, yeah. So nothing. ridiculous. How, what do you oh mean, nothing? That's, I didn't put that in your credit. I was on AGT. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Should we ever use it? Yeah. Yeah, it was funny in that episode. One of Howie's, or no, one of uh, yeah, one of Howie's criticisms was uh, to one of the acts. This is kind of like a high school talent show level talent, and I thought like ninety percent of the stuff. On this <laughs> <day>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, this week in audio. All right, I know you guys have been itching for Motley Crue to get back on the road. Oh yes, please. And they they did have the, their big tour was pushed off till next year. Yeah, but they Def do- Leppard, Poison, and Motley Crue, I believe, is they're the- still alive. Hey, well, you might not think you might not be able to tell that because so uh, Motley Crue is doing some warm up gigs, doing like this the fair circuit. This is them from the Bo- uh, Boone River Valley Festival in Iowa. Vince Neil, I mean he's uh, still fat as hell, <laughs> <laughs> gives up on girls, girls, girls. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh my god. Spend your money on that. Yes. Please welcome Brittany to stage number one. Hey, like, yeah, there's yeah. The, the, Get your funny money ready. Oh my god. The pumped in music is, and the oh. fake backing vocals are still going. I'm like, hey, man, I'll see you later, guys. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. Uh, okay. Oh my god. It wasn't bad up until that point. <laughs> That's a yeah, oh, wow. just, you know. Yeah. Hey guys, sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, and you were to think because we had that. Remember we had that cameo from here. Was like it was uh, yeah. rock and roll for happy food. Oh, that was so yeah. sad. Uh, yeah. But apparently he has not taken the quarantine time to lose weight. No. Or get better oh. at singing. All right. <laughs> well, we're gonna take a break and we'll come back. We have some more this week in audio. Yes, girl. Oh. <laughs> sorry guys. It's coming up for you next here on the Woody Show. The Woody Show will be right back. It will happen. More Woody Show next. Why is society so uptight about throwing up once in a while? This is the Woody Show. I ate dog food the other day. What's the big deal? Well, we've got the continuation of this week in audio. We've already heard some uh, pretty interesting stuff. Like the guy who uh, got busted doing the perp walk. He was stealing on... <laughs> Yeah, God's request. And normally we would say he was allegedly, he allegedly stole a car. No, no, no. No, no, he did. He's very happy to tell you. Yeah, he was happy to tell you. And uh, what else do we have this week in audio? This is from Menace, and I find this clip very interesting. This is a TikTok. Her name is Katerina Carney. And if you just looked at her and she didn't open her mouth, it's like, oh, hot chick, probably on The the Bachelor or whatever, blonde, very pretty, thin, sweet rack, all that stuff. Uh, (laughs) Sweet rack. I'm just just reading the Menace. High five, Rave. 
Yeah. Can I get a high five for high sweet five rack? High five for oh, yeah. sweet rack. Yeah, high five. <laughs> this is just what Menna sent over in his email. <laughs> I don't remember writing that, but okay. That's gross. <laughs> but she just op- then she opens her mouth. To t- she's doing some speech about how you can tell that you're near the side piece or whatever. Pretty okay. basic okay. pitch advice. Yeah. And this comes out. All right, so here's three ways to know if you are being played. Number one, if they don't bring you around their friends or family, why don't they want you to hang around their friends? Hmm? Because their friends will open their mouths and say something? Hmm. Number two, if you guys only hang out at night or at their house or your house. Think about it. Have you guys ever been on a real date before? And number three, if they don't respond to you in like a normal person's time response, like if it's like days or weeks, okay, or they say, oh, I don't really use Snapchat like that or Instagram like that. I get, yeah, some people don't, but for the most part, it's 2021, okay? People use it. They can see when their text pops up or whatever. People that say, oh, sorry, I forgot to respond. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Like the girlfriend in right. uh, my cousin Vinny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait. big time. Oh, she's from Boston. Right. Yeah, she's from. Why Boston. didn't you give us the order of to tap out? <laughs> yeah, I would have been <laughs> tapped <laughs> so early on that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ravi, how are you supposed to know if you're the side piece or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah Ravi, do you give? I the saw same you advice? taking notes. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I like that. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't care if I'm the side piece. <laughs> if that means I never have to listen to her again. <laughs> wow, why do you hate like every Ooh. woman that we bring up on the she show? Is. Is. That was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I don't know. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I don't know. It's one of those things like deal, red flags or deal breakers. Yeah. Like, she, I mean, because she's super. She's like a nine, probably, or an eight or a nine. But, oh, that voice. So you go through with it, though, right? I don't, see, I don't even know if I could do like a whole uh, night out with her. It's like having a silencer. She loves the sound of her own voice. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen her. But but like, I, can't, I can't speak to her just, specifically. Just but, like, dude. Beauty queen blonde. You'll put up yeah. with a lot. Like, guys will put up with a lot. It could be an yeah. annoying voice, annoying personality. Put in. Mm. Yeah. But if she was in Boston, it would be like any other day. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah true. She'd blend right in. Hmm. Yeah. All right. This week in audio. And this is the, one of the funniest things that Jimmy Kimmel does that he doesn't get credit for is when he does his monologue or monologue montage of news anchors saying the same hack, nothing <laughs> phrases. Yeah. And here he is. They did one for the first of June. All right. Can't believe it's June 1st already. Can't believe it's June 1st. Yeah, June 1st. You're right already. <laughs> Can't believe it is June 1st already. Can't believe it's June 1st. <laughs> Can't believe it's June 1st. Can't believe it's June 1st. I can't believe it's June 1st today. I know, right? It is it's, it's, it's hard to believe. Hard to believe that today is the first day <laughs> of the month of June. This is one of uh, Seabass's <laughs> pet peeves. And remember how bummer oh, you guys so got funny. when I turned this around on you and you're yeah. like, I can't believe it's week 14 of the NFL. Wow, well, yeah, I can't believe it just flew by. And then you guys, but when Jimmy Kimmel does it to news anchors, oh, ha, ha, ha. No, I'm, I, I'm laughing because I know this is one of your biggest pet peeves. It's it is. funny. I still think it well, makes it's sense can't because it's, yeah. not, or, it's not like, oh, wow, this caught me by surprise. It's more about like how quick uh, right. the passage of time has been. I think it's a... Now, it's, it seems like look, yesterday we were I'm, just on vacation, but can you believe right. that was five right. months You're ago? You're talking about the saying. overall phrase, not that everybody's saying it. I th- both. I think it's a nothing phrase. It's just filling time. You don't. You're just like I don't want to actually put any thought into what's coming out of my mouth. So no, no I'm true. not saying we're not guilty of it. Like uh, that whole it's amazing thing that we were guilty of. <laughs> Greg and Ravy. It's <laughs> hilarious because we are guilty of it. Yeah. But at the same time, I do find myself saying, "Wow, I can't believe it's already Christmas." For example. Yeah. Because, because it seems it's like, like wow. It seems it was like yesterday. Just spring. Or, it uh-huh. was just March or whatever. Yeah. So that makes and it's sense. Funny. But, but I'm and when you string it all together out right. of like it's 18 hilarious. news markets <laughs> yeah. and you have all these news, at, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with that for sure. Yeah, so, I think that's just more like a sea bass thing. Yeah, because I yeah, think I think, I think people do literal. get I think t- people do get like surprised or like oh my god like you know because you don't really think about it. You're going through your day to day life every right. month, every whatever it is. You're you're always surprised every time. No, it's, it's amazing not that throughout you're your entire life. Yeah, it's well when it's amazing. Yeah, so when. When Menace and Greg, I wasn't there. Menace yeah, and Greg and, and Ravy yeah. were doing a broadcast from a music festival, oh, and yeah. uh, the person back at the radio station that was running everything actually realized that oh my god, they're saying amazing like a thousand times. Right, yeah. listen to these idiots. And so, uh, and so he just took it and he strung them all together. So this is all from one broadcast. Can yeah, can it, we please give a caveat to this though? Sure. It was not amazing. <laughs> Uh-huh. And that's okay. why we said it. So what you're saying is it's you guys are a bunch so of liars. We oversold it so no, 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 we not. And I would like to flip this on CBAS as well because I said, let's do this broadcast later in the day. And But CBAS, he was new and he was being a puss next to Mike the Show Killer. And he was following Mike Our the Show Killer's program director. advice to 
broadcast during this time when no one was there. It was Nothing absolutely was empty. Oh my God. And I'm like, I dude, don't. guys, I've done this a billion times. That's Let's amazing. do it in the afternoon. I do not recall this storyline. That oh, that's a fact. That's, that's a fact. That's that's a fact. fact. I, just, I, of all people, said, hey, let's go out there early. Yeah, the weather it. sucked. The play sucked. Everything yeah, was terrible. We there, like, that's not what you said. Morning. That's not let's what you said during the broadcast. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, <laughs> is amazing. That's amazing. Is amazing. How amazing. It's an amazing day. It's an amazing time. And it is an amazing festival. The crowd has been amazing. And, and you know what's <laughs> amazing? No an amazing cabana. <laughs> More amazing. Speaking of amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There that's was, a little sound check in the background. I know. There was no crowd. The weather was but not that amazing. was Seabass's fault that, because I, he's like, I, oh, we got to be there. I, I, I just you know were... the next time you hear someone saying amazing, <laughs> that they're probably full of crap. Uh, yes. Oh, hell yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is amazing. Just know oh. that really means in their mind it's garbage. It's terrible. We've just learned there's a new definition. <laughs> and that's all we have to say about that's it. Funny yeah. Lies. Yeah. It's, there. it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, is amazing. <laughs> it was us standing in the middle of the field by ourselves. <laughs> yep. And that we were amazing. amazing. Yeah. That sounds amazing. I'm amazed balls. <laughs> oh, that's the I'm like, what are we doing here, guys? All right, All right, this week in audio. All right, we got some fun with the accents. Nice. And fun with little kids. This is a little uh, kid who was being given a bath, and his dad was running the hot water to get it filled, but it was too hot. Dad burned himself, and the little kid straight up narks out to his mom. Oh, no. What happened, buddy? I said a door to work. Did he? He did. What did he say? <laughs> Why did he say that? Cause, cause he burned himself. He burned himself. And uh, he said, "F sake." Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. All right. F sake. That hilarious. <laughs> And uh, where's uh, that, where that kid from? Australia. Oh, 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 I couldn't make out the accent. Yeah, I couldn't tell these guys. Had a mouthful yeah. of pie. Or... Hello. Yeah. What happened, buddy? <laughs> I said. Oh, I shouldn't have. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's either that or Terrence and Philip from Canada. That's right. Yeah. Hey, buddy. What happened, buddy? I said a door to work. Did he? He did. What did he say? For <laughs> sake. <laughs> <laughs> what did you start swearing as a kid? Uh. I remember yeah. I got in trouble because I walked into my mom and dad were still married. I have the re it's like the first time I remember being spanked. Mm. Um, the swearing? Yeah. I walked into the living room. My mom and dad were sitting on the couch and I just said the F word. Ah. Oh. And uh, I got taken right to my room and spanked. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I yeah. got in trouble in kindergarten. I remember I had that. To be in the office all day. Yeah. So I must have been like three or four because my, I must have been three because my parents got divorced when I was three. I never Damn. swore in front of my parents until I was like 20. But I didn't know. Likewise, I, didn't, I, didn't know was, I, I didn't know it was a swear word. I just yeah. you know, came I know. in and I made the announcement. I thought yeah. I, I do wrong. I thought made the proclamation. Yeah. 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 Socks was a swear word. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell. Or, or yeah. Yeah. shut up. I thought yeah. it was shut a swear up, word. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 877 44 Woody is the phone number. You can send us a text over to 22987. Make it good. Make it amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, is amazing. That's amazing. Is amazing. How amazing. <laughs> it's an amazing day. It's an amazing time. And it is an amazing festival. The crowd has been amazing. And, and you know what's amazing? An amazing cabana. More amazing. Speaking of amazing. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Woody Show on the radar. The latest in entertainment and sports, as far as Ravy's concerned. And what's happening over there, Ray? Well, we're going to start with some bad news for gamers this week, as PlayStation Studios has announced that the highly anticipated God of War 2 been delayed to next year. Oh, no. Oh, Greg, how disappointed are you? I'm pretty bummed. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one has PlayStation, so it makes sense. Uh, well, they just aren't going to have the game done. They have these two highly anticipated games, Horizon Forbidden West and God of War 2, and they say both these games were affected because they didn't have access for performance capture and talent, so that put them behind the eight ball. They are hopeful that Horizon will be available for the holiday season, but they aren't even guaranteeing that. Well, they shouldn't yeah. rush it anyways because all these games that have come out lately are so yeah. glitchy. Look at that Keanu Reeves game. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A disaster. Right, right, exactly. It's always fun to talk about the cast of Friends and how much money they make. Oh, yes. Uh, they officially made $2.5 million each for the Friends special. Oh, my Pretty God. cool. Now, when they started off, season one, they were making $22,500 per episode. Which is still good. There were 24 yeah. episodes, meaning their season one salary is a paltry $540,000. Can't <laughs> live on it. Yeah, broke asses. But then in season two, they were making between $22,500 and $40,000 each. Not everybody was being paid the same Oh no! back in the day. Uh, Schwimdog and Aniston were making more than the other friends. Scandalous. And 
then they started negotiating as a team, and that's when they were all paid equally. And then, of course, seasons nine and ten, a million dollars per episode. Pretty cool. And they're still getting paid twenty million dollars each a year from syndication. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> all right, there's a lot of money, and then there's obscene. God. So then you look at Jennifer Aniston and like, why are you pimping all these products? She does online? do a lot that's of honest. advertising. Yeah, she does. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just never enough. Just throw more yeah. on the pile. Be a billionaire. Put it on the pile. We talked about the uh, season finale of Mayor of East Town and how HBO Max crashed for a few minutes while people were trying to watch it. Well, the season finale of the show had the same numbers on HBO. 